Good evening and welcome to another episode of The Coach's Box. Ray Halbrook here with live stream STL. Hope everybody's having a great Wednesday evening here. We are uh, down a man night here for a little while here. Here with the guys here. Guys, how you all doing? Doing well. Doing well. Good, good, good. Well, we shut the champ off. We shut yeah. the champ off. Yeah. Sorry. That's what we do. You're done. That's what happens when you lose. <laughs> I mean, win. Oh. Sorry I won so much. You guys are upset. <laughs> Championship factor, right? Uh, yeah. Well, I mean, <laughs> when you're get high as you're there. used to it. It's had to get promoted here, I guess. Uh, and get on up there, my lost friend. enough. <laughs> Sorry, guys. I'm calling this the Double Nickel Show. Double Nickel. Number 55. It is. Number hey. 55. Oh, Jordan dropped awesome. a double nickel in the Ma- in Madison yeah. Square Garden one right. time. I wa- I've been watching the Last Dance over. It, yep. Isn't that good? Isn't that a great so series? Good. Great series. So good. Get pumped. <laughs> pumped. When's basketball start? Uh, Damn it! When's it start? I'm ready to go. When did it You're ready to go. When there did it go. end? Oh, I was going to say. End? Uh, not for real players. Oh, okay. Yeah. That's what I <laughs> Let's go from one thing to the next. Yeah. That's right. That's right. I mean, yeah, I do got to get a shout out uh, uh, to go. all to my uh, <laughs> to our boys out of, off in DeSoto, um, our uh, SMCI Legends baseball team. We were supposed to play tonight, got uh, stormed out, I guess you could say, um, no. for about a matter of thirty five minutes of solid <laughs> rain. But it looks like it's cleared up out there now. And yeah, so, they see they go play now. Yeah, I'd love <laughs> it, guys. Be awesome. I can get us so. rain out. That's right. <laughs> This be a two-hour rain out. I'm pretty sure I was more in a garden hose. Oh, man. <laughs> I'm just throwing it out there. But, yeah, de- representing with the hat tonight. So, uh, you yeah. know, I'll be uh, looking forward to the next couple weeks. We start opening opening day next Thursday. So, hopefully wow. uh, start out and heading in the right direction. So There you go, man. Get it done. I got to enjoy the, uh, you know, the youth baseball. and That's right. Yeah, we, we were supposed to play, what, a couple weeks ago? We got one game in, then it monsoon. So, yeah. supposed to play this weekend here at home. So, hopefully here in, here in town. So, that would be nice. Yeah. yeah. It's supposed to be a nice weekend, I say, yeah. I guess. So, I guess. <laughs> we'll find out. I'll probably be doing some farm work. <laughs> no, not you. You would never do that. Yeah, okay. What would you do on Easter, I mean, farm work? I mean, all that weight you're losing, I mean, you're going to have to do something, I guess. Huh? Sorry. <laughs> feel a lot better. No doubt about it. I just really wish I could eat some bread. It's, you, you can. Uh, can. I mean, you I can. can. I just really don't want to. There's some keto Regret bread. It. It's great, man. Oh, man, that stuff is so keto. expensive. It's like $50. For, okay. $5. Where for, are you getting it from? Black market? $5. <laughs> fill out the bag of a truck. Got, he's he's got, he got some keto bread. <laughs> you want some keto bread? <laughs> That's right, buddy. You always got to keep crew. <laughs> Hiding it in those extra large shirts you can't wear no more. <laughs> I can. You're right. This is one of those right is there. It? It's just it baggy. It kind of looked like a gown. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's all right. It's a good problem to have. It is. I did put on some khaki shorts the other day. and. As soon as I put them on, they fell, fell right off. It's <laughs> like, all right, cool. It is a good problem to have. I ain't trying to brag. It's just like, hey, this is like really, this is new. All right. It's tough, isn't it? This is like my old driver's license weight. The officer says, is this you? Like, uh, maybe. When anyway. I leave the house, it's like rough. Like, I, I don't know what the heck to wear. I don't have hardly anything, so I wear the same things over and over again because I'm don't have no I do that to too, but that's because I'm cheap. <laughs> <laughs> that's a fair point. That's a fair point. So uh, let's let's get right on into it. Um, so, sorry, I had to win the whole thing. By the way, I, you know what? I let you win. There's I no knew. justice oh, in this world. I knew that was happening. There's no justice in this world. I gave you a chance. That was a comeback win too. <sighs> hey, all I know is it was over in the first three possessions. Of I just I turned it off. Of yeah. the game. Oh yeah. Yeah, it was over. And I'm over there going. Yeah, baby, make it rain. Get it. My wife goes, aren't you going to watch the game? It's over. It just started. No, you don't get it. It's over. It, three possessions and seven I, to nothing. I've seen this movie too many times. Nope, it's over with. I will say that was not a good game, but the semifinal game between mm-hmm. Gonzaga oh, and UCLA. Man. Well, that's what we talked about. You know, we, we were kind of talking with each other afterwards, and, and I brought brought up the point of who do you take now mm. after that type of game? <laughs> right. If you're, you know, well. are you going to take a Gonzaga or are you going to take a Baylor when Gonzaga has such an awesome semifinal game, final four game against UCLA? And they what a boring were you all wrong because you all said, let's take Gonzaga. <laughs> Well, I did not say <laughs> that. You did not say that? Okay. Yeah, I, Jarvis definitely did. Jarvis did. definitely did. <laughs> Zags were like, here. I don't know about that. I said, listen, I, I would be, I'd be okay with 
Gonzaga winning because mm -hmm. hey, it's cool to see an undefeated mm -hmm. season. Mm -hmm. But I was like, well, would I rather have the money? <laughs> exactly. At the end of the I day. would rather have yeah, the money. Exactly. Mm -hmm. yeah. So, yeah, and the Lord giveth and everyone else taketh <laughs> away, and that, that money's already gone. Uh, so, uh, yeah, you benefited too. I did. You yeah. did. Man. You did. I was, I was rooting for him. Don't worry. I was. Hey, pick better. <laughs> one game. <laughs> one, one game. game. That's what's different. One game. You got uh, one game more than me in round one. I'll tell it. you. One. Hey, I don't know what game. to tell Hey, you. if you win by one or you win by 30 or whatever, well, Baylor. That's the old Ben Diesel. <laughs> winnings, winning, right? Winnings, winning. <laughs> but, exactly. I mean, let's go back to that semifinal game between UCLA yeah. and Gonzaga. What? A game. Yeah. Great and game. Great what, game for I all mean, those cardboard cutouts to watch, wasn't oh, it? God. The dude, hey, did you see the <laughs> yeah, meme? <laughs> you, 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 history, history shot or whatever, NCAA, and you're up there yelling in front of all these cardboard <laughs> cutouts. <laughs> 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 it's like, wait, what? <laughs> yeah, they're cheering with you, buddy. Uh, yeah. 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 That's funny. Well, the, you know, the, the big thing about it, I thought the game, you know, it just was, it was, a well played game. Nobody mm -hmm. really um, took it over. Nobody really made a lot of mental mistakes. I mean, it was just a very well played mm -hmm. game all mm -hmm. around. I agree. Uh, mm -hmm. And you go back to that final shot. And I mean, what? I mean, I mean, the coach said, "Well, man, I knew he was going to make it. He shoots those shots all the time in games. What well, practice? You know, <laughs> what kind of practice they get to run? Man, <laughs> hey, yeah. we're going to do full court sprints on the dribble, uh -huh. and you're going to pull up and shoot from." The half court line yeah. <laughs> every day, and if you miss, you're running. <laughs> so, I mean, like, what? Like, I mean, yeah, you, you could you could tell at that point that they were going to win on that shot. I mean, as well, soon as he got yeah. the ball in inbounds, you knew that shot was going in. Maybe, uh, maybe slow the guy down. Well, Did we not learn from watching Tyus Edney? Uh -huh. <laughs> Didn't UCLA understand yeah, well, from that? Yeah. Just I mean, you slow the guy down, you don't get to shoot it. But hey, good game, classic, mm -hmm. and. I, I mean, and that's, that just stinks, though. You do that, you hit that <laughs> shot, and then you just. You didn't show up to play against no, a team that was much you better than you? No. You, I mean. Listen, uh, Baylor Baylor plays some of the go best ahead, defense. Go ahead. Oh, that's not what I thought you were going to say. No. It, it, <laughs> I, I helped coach, coach Drew with some stuff. No. Uh, they play some of the best defense mm -hmm. I've probably watched oh. by a college basketball mm -hmm. team. Mm -hmm. And. You know, I, was, I comment on a couple of other coaches, they, you know, posted on Facebook after that game. They, they looked like men. Mm -hmm. well, that, they, and and, and worked, they yeah. played like men. Uh -huh. Sure they did. And it only proves how important training in the weight room, not just mm -hmm. getting lifting, like, oh, I'm doing, mm -hmm. you know, doing bench press today. Mm -hmm. Okay, bro, that's cool. Um, <laughs> you know, can you, are you explosive? Can you jump higher? You mm -hmm. run faster? Mm -hmm. Do you, do you well, look like you drove the team bus? Right. And, and those guys did. I mean, Vital had eight. Offensive rebounds against mm -hmm. a six ten guy. He's six five, and mm -hmm. he might be stretching six five. I mean, he, he looked like Charles Barkley out there. Yeah. He's just ripping him down. I'm mm -hmm. like, well, wait, how's this happening? Well, I know why because he's a man. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and sure. you're playing against a bunch of bunch of bunch of guys who are underclassmen, or yeah. they're not as strong. You can tell well, they're just not. I, I'll bring this up because this is what I was just going to say. Do you think playing in a power conference day in and day out gets you prepared versus the I don't know why I wouldn't. I don't know why I wouldn't, but it, what, what are they going to do? Can they get in the Pac-12? Pac-12 is kind of like its own little, no, you can't be in our little group. Why, why, if you're the Pac-12, why wouldn't you want Gonzaga in? I don't know, because they're a small Catholic college in Washington, middle of nowhere. They, can't, <laughs> they don't have football. Well, I don't even know. Do they have football? No, I don't think Does so. Does anybody chime so. in here? Does Gonzaga have football? No, I would I assume so. I'm not, not. going to look it up. i got other things to do, but I'm just saying. <laughs> well, one of the things that I, you know, I, I was watching that game, and, and, you know, Gonzaga could not guard the high pick and roll. Mm -hmm. no. They just could not guard it. No. And that was kind of the same instance that Illinois Chicago mm -hmm. Loyola mm -hmm. did to, you know, to mm -hmm. Illinois. Mm -hmm. was the same thing. They could not guard that pick and roll. No. And, well, and, and what zero adjustments to it. I mean, zero. Yeah, there's well, no adjustments. But the power forward, he also was knocking down some mid-range yeah, shots as yeah, well. And yes. so you're going to pick your poison on that. Are you going to say, let's leave this guy open who's established the fact that he's hit two, three, four in a row? Yes. Or you're well, going to go out on him and then, like you said, you either slip it or – you play percentages and go, well, that's further away from the basket than the guy who can two-hand dunk it God. right underneath. Every time. It. <laughs> I mean, I would kind or of who's got an offensive rebound put <laughs> in the back. That's true. It's yeah. like, well, my man, I missed it on purpose, uh, so I get another rebound. Uh -huh. I, I think uh, 
Well, I mean, it, but it does it go back to the point about power conference? Mm -hmm. When you're talking about Loyola, who's not from a power conference, beating a Big Ten school mm -hmm. like a drum, mm -hmm. uh, I mean, at that same kind of game, mm -hmm. I mean, it just it just shows you if you can execute, if you're strong, if you play well, to get, and you can shoot. By God, Baylor, they, they led the, they led the nation three point shooting, so yeah. that helps. Mm -hmm. um, they but, could run they could run ten kids in, mm -hmm. and yes. I mean. You could just see uh, uh, the Timmy kid is cramping up because he ain't had to play this hard all year, year long. Right. long. Right. Yep. And now they're just they're just, they run three post players in. They got a slew of guards who can play. I mean, it's a hell of a team. Mm -hmm. I mean, mm -hmm. I, I don't. They're they're the most complete team in college mm -hmm. basketball. Mm -hmm. So. Just because they were Baylor, I probably didn't pick them in more brackets, to be honest with you, uh, because I, I've seen them play, and mm -hmm. I was like, man, they're, they're really good. I think, yeah. they, I think they can win it, but, yeah. you know, that's why I picked them. They, well, I, you don't pick them in one of your five, six, seven, well, eight, four, 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 four. One of your 15 brackets. Four. four. <laughs> okay. Four. four. Well, that's it. Uh, you know, that's it. Yeah. I think the, the, the biggest test takeaway from that whole tournament, and we talked about this in our messages, you know, was – uh, the older classmen, mm -hmm. I thought, stepped up in this yeah. tournament. Mm -hmm. I mean, the, the teams that had, you know, quality guys that had been around a while, yeah. those are yeah. the teams that really, I mean, excelled and was able to do some good things. And, mm -hmm. you know, those younger classmen that hadn't had a lot of experience, you could see in big-time game, get back to some situations, they didn't know how to handle it. Right. Uh, and right. I think that has to do with not getting those quality um, opportunities to be coached in the off season um, when you went almost a whole full year mm -hmm. uh, to do that, you know, and I think that's uh, that's the the most important thing about it. And 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 I saw somebody post on social media yesterday said now how many how many guys are actually going to stay four years now and, and try to try to win a win a national not title. Not a Kentucky. Now you say not a, not if you're a lottery pick. You're no. still you're still you, going out. You never still, know. I mean, it'd be interesting uh, to see how that all plays out. Like what these big time schools I want to stay in college where I probably mm -hmm. won't make any money mm -hmm. or I get a food voucher next year. Uh, or I could be a could lottery be a whole pick. another subject at another uh, time. Well, should they get paid? No, they should not get will paid. Will they get paid? Yeah, they probably uh, will. In California they already they get paid. Mm -hmm. Sure they do. I, they already get paid. Well, <laughs> they already dude, get paid. Dude, stop watching Blue Chips. I, hey, that's, it's a, that's not, another it's, good it's movie. It's a fiction. It's a no, fictional I, movie. That's okay. Ask Adidas and old Rick Pitino. Bobby Hurley those. didn't play for, for Indiana, okay? <laughs> it's a fictional movie. <laughs> or Chaney, yeah, you know. Well, the Calvert Chaney played Indiana. Did he? Yeah, want to make a bet okay. on that? No. no. I'm trying no. to win some more money here, okay? <laughs> anyway. Uh, be on tonight's trivia. Yeah, that's, oh, <laughs> ooh, ooh, hold on. Hey, we got to shake up on trivia, and, uh, uh, just so everybody trivia. knows. Trivia. Oh yeah. my so I gotta, goodness! I gotta retire, man. Sometimes we don't have any don't have any challenges left. How are you gonna say? I say you were gonna something? resign. No, yeah. that's retire. what you need to resign. Res retire. You need not retire. Like you like MJ. Retire. Me and MJ <laughs> have a lot in common. Oh, brother. Oh, Except gosh. I can shoot the three better than him. How many times oh, you want? Oh, jeez. More times than MJ oh, did. Oh, okay. Okay. Good. Not one, not two. <laughs> More than LeBron and him. Anyway. Yeah. But uh, no, it was good. It was really. It was a really. I, mean, I like the tournament. Mm -hmm. I thought. It, I like the setup. The setup. I, I, I really like. I like the schedule. Yeah, I did too. I think it's going to happen. Going forward, too. You should you add more teams? I, I think no, 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 they won't no. do that. But I think no. the way, I don't know. Uh, the way the schedule was put together. Now, if they stay local like they did mm -hmm. and do that consistently across the board, you may see more teams being added. You may see them go to a, you know an eighty team and oh my goodness. and try to run it that way. It's I, gonna be I like mean, baseball <laughs> with the tournament. <laughs> But oh, I, what a great movie. <laughs> oh, man, the I Denim love Cup, it. Yeah. But I could see that happening. Uh, uh, I could Cup. see that yeah, happening. Denim Cup, yeah. You know, um, yeah. where you have – you get more teams involved. You get more – you get more, more money. More money involved. And it's local, so you you switch markets. Like to say, let's go to the Indianapolis. Let's go to, you know – Atlanta, Georgia, and play. <laughs> <laughs> well, you can race say Canada. No, he can't, no. He can't go to Georgia. No. Apparently, he doesn't watch. Uh, the I, news. Yes, don't watch the I news. do. He doesn't watch the news. I do. Oh, oh, that's, about that's another sport, my friends. Another <laughs> sport. Oh, it doesn't matter. Uh, just throw it out I there. I don't know that that necessarily needs to be a huh? <laughs> Why? Why? So much fun. Why? It is fun. Pol I agree. Politics is very fun with flags. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Just do it. Oh, brother. Oh. Uh, I mean, just say it. <laughs> you guys are crazy. What? 
Hey, I'm just saying. I saw a, I saw a thing when I tried to look up something on Google. I was thinking about taking a trip down, watch the Braves play. I'm sure you were. And uh, <laughs> sure Google has been removed. From, uh, George has been removed from Google. It has. Yeah. <laughs> it's, it's just called the state of racism. I, oh my gosh. That's your comment, not mine. I well, it was. I saw it. All, it's on the internet. It's got to be true. Gotta be true. <laughs> <laughs> just saying. Uh, Anywho, that is a true statement. Uh, <laughs> all right, kind of. But a wrap on. Yeah. So, what's your overall thoughts of the whole tournament? It was fun. I, I, like I said, I like I like the venue. Yeah, um, it could stay in one spot, and I, I think that would be going forward. In this, you know, you talk about a pipe dream, but any any pro sport, any college sport, you could have somewhere centrally located in the United States, some type of venue to where hey, World Series can be played here, uh, Super Bowl, so, something where you're going to bring in jobs, you're going to bring in people. And everything's centrally located. You can travel. I think that would be kind of neat for the country. But, you know, I mean, in- instead of just being flyover states. But or do you see quadrants? <laughs> flyover states. Quadrants? Where, where they maybe go into four different areas and say, okay, we're going to take up, you know, 32 teams from this quadrant, 32 mm-hmm. teams from this quadrant, quadrant, and then all mix into the uh, Don't they do that anyway? Don't they have the regional games? But they're mm-hmm. not. They're not necessarily – like, I'm talking, like, where they only play in one location hmm. for all that quadrant. Hmm. So, like, all games, not, you know, Utah right. in the first two right. rounds and then, you know, St. Louis. And even though right. St. Louis is in the Midwest, they're yeah. playing the they're mid playing those games. They're playing the South in, or you know, they're playing, playing out West. Out yeah. West well, whatever. about time you hey, show up. Hey, who, look who it is. Look hey, it is. stop trying to coach basketball. It's the off season. <laughs> <laughs> there is no there off is season. No off season. <laughs> not for true players, it's not. Uh, uh, what's up, man? Evidently, there was a little bit. Some some of my players didn't realize it was off season. I, anyway. I think go, he's go telling ahead. you guys to scoot yeah, in. Go ahead and oh. get in the. Go ahead and get in. Yeah, the picture so you gotta get in the picture. Go. All right, I get to sit by McVeigh. Hey. The two losers on this. <laughs> <end>. <laughs> Sorry. Wow. <laughs> we, we've already Sorry. we've already uh, talked about that. By the way, we're we are gonna do trivia. I but know, that's why I, I said I, I, I'm not doing it. Why? I told you I retired. <laughs> oh my god! On top, man. I have I have no other challenges. <laughs> no other challenges. Oh my! You can run the board. How about that? I could. Just, I can take Ray's job. <laughs> Matter of fact, Ray, why don't I just host trivia? You can take my spot. I like that idea. Very uh, good. Wow. Wow. wow! wow! So now you guys have a chance, right? Uh, no, Ray, Ray I mean, says he's winning. Still probably say, not. Ray, probably not. Still Ray probably wait a minute. Wait. We won't Ray have questions. You probably happen? gave him the answer. Here yeah. we go. I'm right. going to cheat. Uh, yeah, okay. Yep. Listen, there will be no questions from the 1800s. <laughs> there will be no questions from the early 1900s. Do we have a bunch of 80s or 90s? <laughs> 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 it's funny you say that. Ray, I, I came packed with questions. Ray is Ray is booing that because he's not from the eighties and nineties. That's what he's trying to say. Forties, thirties, fifties. I'm sorry. <laughs> <laughs> Ray, uh, Ray. I wasn't talking about different jobs. I was talking about <laughs> <laughs> you guys pick on me like 13 or 14 more times. I'm going to hit this buzzer thing. See, I hit the ground running. Uh, yeah. Jarvis came in. He was ready to go. You guys said I've been too quiet. You were waving to us, right, yeah. as you were walking <laughs> yeah. in. I was, uh, <laughs> How many fingers was that? Uh, <laughs> one, one, two, three. There was three, uh, I think. That, it wasn't like the 1-800, you know. <laughs> that was the name of my team that hey, won which, it, by the which, way. Which, by the way, that particular particular handle one yeah is one of well, your I mean, second, when you got you know. four different <laughs> I, know, right? I know right so did he uh, yeah I had, awful. I had two I, yeah. okay well, right my I number four fifth. is well one i got fifth <laughs> uh, I, my baylor team mm, you I did one bracket mm. yep i just didn't pick any other good games <laughs> well it happens well the first round was tough arkansas I mean, was killed tough. me two rounds were fresh, mm-hmm. really yeah arkansas, arkansas killed, me. killed me i thought man I was doing really well in one of them, like on ESPN, that I did like 12 brackets, so I put four in the challenge. I was doing really well, and then I can't remember which one I just bombed out right at the end. I was like, son of a, yeah. <laughs> so, biscuit any, eater? Huh? Biscuit eater. Mm-hmm. Yeah, well, hey, well, speaking of, of on the screen right now, I, I think we got up on, Ray's got up on the screen. I do. The, I the prize sign up, share like the coach's box, and, and fill out the form. Yeah, we're getting fancy. Ray wanted to do a QR code. I don't know what the hell I that is. Either. I made one. I don't so know you what just that scan it. If you're watching the yeah. show, you scan it. If yep. you're not watching the show and you're listening, 
<laughs> I don't to tell you. I can't make that happen. <laughs> okay. do, do I need to explain it? Yes. Okay, you so this is how it works. I don't know how quickly. this works. If you quickly. see it, you're sitting no. here watching. You, you just scan you, it. Hopefully you're watching from like an camera. iPad. Boop. Yeah, hopefully you're watching from like an iPad. Okay. Oh, you're the same guy who had a flip <laughs> or, phone until like three computer. years ago. Exactly. If you're watching on your phone, it's kind of hard to do this, but you just take a picture of that, uh, or actually you just put your camera up to it, and it will automatically scan that particular You're as bad as my dad. And yeah. get you going. So there you Once go. Once again, cheap. <laughs> Old. Wow. Do we have captioning now or something? I don't know, I guess. But we do have a $15 gift certificate, yep. again, up for yep. grabs tonight, so... Uh, you know, sign up, uh, like, share our page, um, and then like Get the on Coach's it. Box page Get your as well. five minutes of uh, And sharing. then uh, fill out that form and, and <laughs> submit it. I don't know. Have we got anybody on yeah, there Yeah, we yet? got four of them hey. so far. Hey, we got four it's people. It's usually about the same people. All, I mean. Hey, why not? Hey, it's jump $15. in. Listen, you want $15 off coming yeah. to Lampas. I mean, uh-huh. just sign up. Yeah. Well worth it. Yeah, might opinion. as well. well yeah. worth get, it. You some, get you some a Blair special. You, you can't, you can't sign up. No. I'm sharing our – Episode. Man. <laughs> Listen, so like every one of my groups and my groups all. Hate Listen, me. Y- y- you have any? You I have grew up, I grew up in Hematite group. Got mad at me. Uh, well, I need, what does this have to do with Hematite? I'm, I'm from Hematite. Hematite. That's what I, exactly. What I'm I representing said. over here. Uh, By the way, your name that you in, entered on here, Seymour Butts, does not work. <laughs> <laughs> that was not me. Uh, no, it's not gonna work. Uh, Let's see, who would that be? Hmm. Uh, don't, don't, they don't have to name them all out. We'll put them on the wheel later. <laughs> Except for that one. Sorry, Jarvis. Oh, <laughs> yeah, well, that's a good one. Okay. That reminds me of the old I Simpsons. It. When Bart would call Mo. <laughs> yeah. The, uh, was all, yep. Mike? Classic. Yep. Roch. <laughs> Mike? Such a good mm-hmm. Yeah, those are good times. Mm-hmm. Anywho, Jarvis, what was your thoughts on the, the championship game? Didn't you pick Gonzaga after that semifinal game? I had Gonzaga and Baylor in – each no, no, no. I, yeah, but I'm talking about when we were doing our little group messaging. You said after Zags. the semifinal game, you're like, "Yeah, Zach's gonna win." And we're like, everybody's like, "I don't know about that." <laughs> well, I mean, it was kind of like you guys discussed. It was mm. it was a physical game. Oh yeah. Mm-hmm. I mean, mm-hmm. it Very was uh, a game they probably don't see in their conference a whole lot. <laughs> <laughs> Zach's over here going, I'm right. Yeah. Did you already bring this oh, up? Oh, yeah. yeah. You don't think the West Coast Conference is very good? I you don't did. think it prepared well, them for I'm uh, just saying it sure was it it was no physicality in that conference You're like playing that. in the JV College League. <laughs> you play know what cracked me up? Pepperdine or whoever. They were talking about, like, during the broadcast, <laughs> number 45 for Baylor, real long, you know, arm guy. And the guy goes up for a layup, and they were like, great block. And then they showed the close-up replay. And, I mean, they mugged him. Mm-hmm. It was not yeah. a block. It was a uh-huh. I mean, ball it, hit first. Yeah. He hit the ball first. Yeah. Oh, it, was it was, it was physical, man. Uh-huh. And I'm not – it wasn't – I'm not saying it was the ref's fault at all. I'm just saying it was refed physically. I mean, they allowed – That's like some old guys officiating the game, and I figure that might have played into it because they're just like, look, I got to get to bed by 10 o'clock. This is way past my bedtime. I'm serious. There was like two gray-haired dudes out there refereeing. I'm like, this is not the game for them. Well, they should have got some young dudes who could run up and down the floor. Well, they're in, I couldn't have kept up that game. I, well, I, just, I said young guys. I know. I, I'm <laughs> 45, bro. Hey, you just turned, hey, hey, yeah, birthday. Hey. Happy birthday. Somebody bring in some ice cream. Uh, ice cream Yeah, it was his birthday yesterday. Yeah. yeah. The big 45, huh? Yeah. Man. Wow. That's crazy. Jill said. Ooh. Now I can say you're almost 50. <laughs> <laughs> you're closer to 50 than <laughs> you, you are 40. 40. That's right. Oh, I'm not. It's the same. You're, you're you're no. Oh, no. My, my, it's your birthday. It's uh, closer yeah, that yeah, way. Yeah. My South Iron Math says that you're halfway to 90. Wow. I just want to throw that one out there for you. <laughs> Thank you. You're welcome. <laughs> I'm half dead. <laughs> Life expectancy is what, 74 <laughs> years old? Yeah, so about say, three quarter yeah. dead. Mm. Yep. Hey, there's people around here who might take offense to that. Be careful. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, they're my, right across from us. <laughs> <laughs> it's old people do die. <laughs> What's your five year plan? <laughs> Don't die. Uh, I have a 99.1 sticker now. You do? <laughs> no. <laughs> I know. You need one. Oh, I I was I was driving the shuttle this morning. I swear this is great. I was coming up on the stop right there when you turn off to Serdai Motorsports. Yeah. It's coming to the stoplight and there was this little um, I don't know, smart car looking thing. 
and it didn't just have one. It didn't have just two. It had six. 99. 99.1 <laughs> stickers all over the back glass. And I go, Should've it wasn't me. <laughs> <laughs> like, it wasn't me. Are you kidding me? And I was trying to take a picture. Uh, and they <laughs> took off and went down the road. I'm like, no. No. It had been perfect. Oh. Man, they – yeah, they must really love that station. Well, they they really, I mean, they just want Jesus following them. I don't blame yeah, them. I mean, and literally, if he in was that little smart car. I mean, they might be, you know, <laughs> you mean Jesus? Hey, when you're but that's all right. I it heard, just it I'm just poured, that, slide you, over. I know this has nothing to do with sports, but have you heard? They're talking about taxing you per mile now or some crap. Oh oh, Listen, great. we don't want to mix politics. Oh, my bad. <laughs> Otherwise, we got to move. Uh, <laughs> just throwing things out there. Oh, <laughs> especially on. Oh. Yep. Oh, wait, wait. Uh oh. We got a match shooting sighting. Oh. So I bet that ump from the Herky St. Pius game drives a smart car <laughs> <laughs> and still scoots to seat up. The seat up. Uh, how about that, gotta put a visor down um, over his head. No, nah, he drew, drove an Equinox because I parked right next to him. <laughs> <laughs> hey, we shouldn't say that. Somebody uh, might know who we're talking about. Uh, oh well, I mean, there's a lot of Equinoxes out a, there. Right? Yeah, because I am. There's not a lot too. of people who pump the game. Right, <laughs> it threw all those people out. <laughs> it was kind of wild. For those those of those you that do not know what we're talking about, last week we the had Herky St. Pius Her- game. Herky St. Pius game. We had none other than. Jason Jarvis and Chris oh. Miller calling the game. <laughs> they did a great job. On a whim d- and did a great job. And here comes here comes Chris Miller trying to uh, call and talk about what's going on. And, and all of this develops very, very quickly. It was hard. To it, 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 I didn't know what was going on. It escalated <laughs> quickly. And, and the serious thing about that was the umpire really didn't give the coaches the an explanation, re- an explanation on mm. anything that was going on. Mm. Just, you're gone, you're gone, you're gone, you're <laughs> gone. You. Four, and you two, can have an ejection, and right? you can have an ejection. <laughs> two <laughs> players, two well, coaches. It was crazy you know. because he had just gotten on Herky's coaching staff right uh, at the end of that yeah, last inning. Yeah, because uh, they were arguing about, a, I think, a batter tried to get a timeout, and, mm-hmm. and they didn't give it to him. It was my kid. Yep. That's <laughs> I remember. So dad's over here going, yeah, <laughs> terrible. <laughs> Throw him out. No, I wasn't yelling. <laughs> no, I, I, I'm anyway. not. I mean, I don't yell. No, at, you I don't yell at umps or refs or anything like that. So it's quiet. Yeah, I had no technicals. No this wonder year. you got nine nine point one. You ain't got one. I had no technicals this year. That doesn't mean that you don't yell at referees. Besides that, I we weren't the ones yelling at any umpires. <laughs> no. On he the air. I? I wonder what you guys are pointing at me for. Oh, he was kind of off the air, but on the air. <laughs> I, I <laughs> think, dude, they can hear you. Surround by. <laughs> oh, yes. Us. Yes. Was it the that blue part. ball? Yeah. <laughs> no, it was so. No. It was, was a, not it was a blue ball. ball. It, was a, it, was kinda look, it looked like ball. a hairy ball. <laughs> oh. It was attached to that little. I don't know, Gizmo down there. So I was like, well, I don't know what Ray's got here. Oh, it's a microphone. Oh, my gosh. He did not. What? And commercial. <laughs> Just like that. So Just like that. And Ray, yeah. we'll turn it over to you. Uh, but, yeah, yeah, it was a, it was an interesting game. It really was. Yeah. I tell you. I we mean, talked about it last week. Yeah. <laughs> it was a game of who – Who's going to make the last air or who's going to win the game? <laughs> who's going to make the last air or who's yeah. going to win the game? I was going to lose the game. Oh. I mean, whoever made the last air was going to lose the game. I was about to say, like, that's counterproductive. Yeah, yeah, right. But I think that's what that's what it happened down to. I mean, there was some quality hitting, but there was not quality defense across the board, I no. didn't think. And, I mean, yeah. that's early season once again. Early season, it's really damn cold outside. Yeah. And, oh, my God. Uh, not this so year. It was great this year. And, uh, not that game. Well, oh, it was freezing. Well, then you got my take teeth in. were chattering by the end of that game, but I was sitting in the shade. Then you got to think about all those guys did not get a <laughs> we chance. We both looked at it. It was cold. It's cold. All those guys didn't get a chance to play last year, too. So, I yeah. mean, early season, you're going to see a lot of teams struggle um, until they get into some kind of rhythm. Sure. You know? and, uh, you like the Cardinals? Especially small hey, schools. Hey, great segue. Like, 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 like great you said segue. small, like small, like small, like the Cardinals. Small market. Oh, you mean like? like the, what, they, what were they hitting coming in? Who was 200. playing second base? Today, today, Last, yesterday, and today, our boy, Maddie, Maddie yeah. Carver. again today. Yeah, no, no he was. No, in, was, oh, was he was in the lineup he today. Today, yeah, he did at second, second base. base. Second base, base. Deep at fifth hey. and, and commercial. Hey. Oh, hey. I don't know where he batted. Cardinals won yesterday, so they had to they say won the today same too. lineup. You know, two so and zero with him playing hey. in second tomorrow. You know what he did today? Day. 
I'm guess. guess. Guess what he did today? Uh, he he got a hit. He walked. Straight. I know he got a walk. He, he got, walked. He, yeah, he'll walk once. His on base percentage least. is okay, but he his struck out. His batting average. Yeah. Yeah. I, I think he's trying to hit one of those crickets flying around. Four or five. Let's see. Uh, One, he was zero. 0 for 2 with a walk. And he ended up getting, you know, he scored a run. So his batting average is still a big, fat zero. Mm. Hey, but we're going to keep running him out there. Wow, he's he's a great defender. <laughs> Does some great Said things. nobody, ever. <laughs> Not even a gun was in their head. <laughs> yeah, he, bat, uh, he batted fifth. Again, yes, he again. Was, he was the same lineup as yesterday, and I guarantee yeah. it'll be the same lineup tomorrow. Yeah, Nagowski, uh. though, his – did he's, you see? He's batting 500. He's got on base percentage of 750. Let's not play him. Did you see? Boy, he he lucked out today. Did you see him get hit? No, I didn't. Oh, oh my goodness! So late in the ball game, takes one right off his hand. Who did? At yeah, yeah, he did. Nagowski mm-hmm. and they and and Ed, Edmonds was talking about. Man, he just lucked out the way the angle was because the way he was holding the bat, it ricocheted off. He said it would have been turned the other way. Probably would have busted his hand. But literally, well. It, I think I think it'd be a good idea to maybe play the guy who gets on base and maybe gets a couple hits. Like uh, Tyler O'Neill right now is hitting 125. He's 0 for the series against the Marlins. Mm-hmm. Has eight strikeouts. Well, but in his defense, what you talk about? No, I'm what, just going to say. Got sun in his eyes? No, I'm just going to say in his defense, <laughs> Too everybody's hot. striking out. I think we've had probably this game, and I know it's game one was the only game where we didn't have double-digit strikeouts. Right. Yeah. And I don't know about this one, but I think we well, were at least at eight. See. At least at eight like, while Flaherty was still in. <laughs> yeah. All the way that was for practice today. That was, uh, that was not good. I just good. got a text from one of my buddies. Chapman just threw 102 miles an hour four times and then threw a 91-mile-an-hour changeup change to get a strikeout. <laughs> hey, like, they struck out nine times nine today. Times. So they didn't mm-hmm. double figures. So, hey. That's, that's that's progress. progress. <laughs> winner, winner. Yeah, but striking out too much. The approach to the play is terrible. Mm-hmm. Look, you know when they were talking about Carpenter, and I like bringing him up. The guy used to hit to left field, mm-hmm. and he can't find left field. Mm-hmm. I don't even think if he had a map, he <laughs> couldn't find left. Well, field. you see, teams don't even have any. I no, mean, nobody. I mean, and my person. my old man, anytime he tells you, he's just like, I don't know why guys do that and shift over the side. Why can't he just drop down a bunt? You're a major leaguer. Hell, I could bunt when I was in. You know, play. I'm like, okay, listen, they wait, practiced. It's a little different. They practiced. But, yeah. Bunting. Yeah. Well, well, it's why, practice bunting. It's a little different. Wait, wait. If you don't have a damn hit, bunt to get on well, base when there ain't nobody like it's, there. It's not like this is year one, right? This is what, year three ish or so of struggling? Four. Of struggling, oh, struggling, three. struggling. Okay, three. so mm, we had a year off with COVID. I think maybe I'm gonna work on my bunting. What did you do all? Oh, so I tried to hit it for the fence. <laughs> Chicks dig the long <laughs> ball. Yeah, yeah. I can sell more salsa this way. Yeah, buddy. And he's not. Bun it down. I mean, he's his on base percentage is two seventy three, and he has no hits. Mm. Small ball. He's slugging small ball, zero. Small ball. Uh, Carlson hit a grand slam. That's mm-hmm. nice. I think all his hits are home runs. All of his hits are home <laughs> runs. He's hit 158. Yeah. Uh, I'd still take a guy. At least he's getting a damn hit. Yeah, it's true. Getting a hit, maybe walk. You know, Neil struck out three times. Today. Here's what I did like, though. Late in the ball game, and this was before this was before the grand slam. So, Edmund gets on. This is all with two outs. A little two-out single. Steal second. Yeah. Here comes Goldie. Nice, solid line drive in left field. Scores Edmund. Mm-hmm. I mean, it's just perfect. Two out baseball. You know, keep it simple. Keep it clean. You got to steal base. You got to get on base. Yeah. Well, does he get bad? on base? Yes, he does. I can see a bunch of guys in this lineup who don't get on base. Well, and so that goes we back should, to our. We should be money balling it. We, we, we do money ball it, we, but we need to get players that get on base though when we money ball. It. Well, yeah. okay, draw a walk maybe. Well. Hey, Carpenter draws walks. Twenty-seven percent of the time. <laughs> <laughs> Can't do anything else. What's well, that stick in your hands for? Oh no, just kind of hold it, and swing it every now and then. Well, I'm no. a firm Keep believer that away. when you're when you're struggling at the plate, I mean, I, I've seen it all the way down in the younger little league stuff. When the kids struggle at the plate, I hope that's a little league hat, by the way. It, it is. is okay. Thank you. Yes, uh, <laughs> but if you find a way to put the ball on the bat mm-hmm. and put it in play. Good things happen. Good yeah, things. That's and, what and all of a sudden they get that hand-eye coordination. All of a sudden they start seeing the baseball better. Mm-hmm. I mean, it just it changes the whole perspective. And I don't understand why big league baseball does not do that as much. Well, this goes back to I mean, our conversation when you're talking about approach. Now we can say philosophically that the 
game is changing from the pitchers oh. because it, it it was a fast fastball league. Now they've talked about the last couple of years of being a breaking ball league, right? right? So now as a batter, you're thinking all of the time, Am I? is this going to be an off-speed pitch? Is this going to be a slider? Is this going to be a uh, – change up uh, they gonna run a fastball it was the uh, it was last night's ball game it's it's late in the eighth inning ninth inning a guy sits strike three from Gallegos 95 mile an hour fastball right down the middle didn't move maybe an inch off the middle and he just stares and looks at it Watch and the commentators are saying how does that happen he goes because you're thinking and you're looking at something different than a fastball. Yes. What happened You're to You're guessing wrong. Exact why are you why guessing? Are you guessing? Why are you guessing? Why are you not doing fastball adjust? Yes. We say this all the time from little league on up. Uh, I get change. it they're professionals. I'm looking Fast- at my I'm looking at my launch angle, bro. Uh, my launch fastball angle. Fastball adjust. Just what happened to the, the log ball? ball? Like you said, it's all hands. Put well, Joey, it, you're Joey Gallo again. You're either going to hit a home run or you're striking out seven times in a game. Well, it's just like last night of our we had a little league baseball practice and I said I told the kids, "Uh-oh. Quit trying throw to pull the ball mm-hmm. and go the other way. Yeah. Go the other way. Yeah. They're letting you go the other way. And, I, you know, was go trying to explain Go where to the them. pitch is thrown. Oh, yes. And that's exactly what we were kept trying to make them do. And or finally they got it. it where they ain't. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. And, but you know what? But once that kid saw that happen mm-hmm. and he adjusted and made the adjustment, he was like, oh, and then he's well, going to go to some trainer, and they're going to talk about his uh, ex- ex- uh, his uh, his exit velo yeah, and yeah. launch angle. Well, and well that's another thing how that to pull you the ball, watch. But that, that's an, and you talk about approach, and you see this. This is why they strike out too much because yeah, they are trying to pull the ball, and that's why I think Yadi is such a great hitter and is able to stay in the league. Is he stays on top of the baseball, and he's fine with letting it travel deeper than what other people will do, and just slapping it out yep. in a right field. Mm-hmm. And there, that's a lost art. It's a oh, lost yeah. art just to stay on the baseball, just to watch it, and if, even if you don't like it, you just foul it off and get you another pitch. Sure, sure. and you're getting pitch count up. That's kind of a big deal. Yeah, that's, yeah, not not for John Gant. <clears throat> yeah. Anyway, Ray's playing the music. We got to go to commercial. We've kind of went over. Thanks, Jason. It's me showing yeah. up late. <laughs> Dang it. It's all Jarvis' fault. Hey, I'm trying to win basketball games. <laughs> there you go. So is everybody else on this <laughs> at this table, you know. No one here Except cares for me, about basketball. You know. Uh, basketball. One, one, one real quick. I ran into my. Oh, we got the music playing. Oh, yeah. We got the music yeah. going. Ray. I'll, I'll, I'll say this. I, I want to give a shout out. I'm gonna give a shout out to Jim Collier, uh, old 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 friend of mine from Jason from Collier's church. dad. J- Jason Collier's yep. dad. Jim Collier. Great guy. Mm-hmm. Tell you what, he taught me how to hit Apo Taco. Mm-hmm. Yep. Once I saw that that worked, I never got away from that. No. If, you, if you're a baseball player, you should be learning how to hit opposite field. All if you can't long. hit opposite field, that is one huge token in your tool chest I that agree. you're missing out on. I agree. Get it done. I'm here to tell you, yeah. Alpo Taco is the way to go. I actually I actually founded a team called Alpo Tacos. That's how that's how that's how awesome I thought that he was. was. He was so the GM? Was the he GM. was the player oh, coach. Oh, come on. <laughs> Are you serious? <laughs> no, oh. seriously. Seriously, seriously, back in the day. David did it, too. That makes it even better. I'm sorry. Oh, my God. So good. So good. Uh, So good. (laughs) Sorry, Ray. Are you all done now? I am. (laughs) Now we're just eating up, baby. (laughs) Yeah, he's He's eating up. I'm waiting for the mic, to, his mic to go numb. And like folks, I produced this show. I produced this show, right? We're a step away here. You're here. You're watching the Coach's Box. We will be right back. Tell us we can't, and we'll prove you wrong. Knock us down, and we'll get right back up. Call us risk takers, misfits, bad boys. But we know what we want, and it feels like American muscle, looks like advanced engineering, and smells like fresh cut grass. Bad boy, mow with an attitude. For fine Mexican cuisine, a family atmosphere. Any place to watch your local sport teams. Come out to La Pechanga. Check out our four locations. Arnold, Herculaneum, Crystal City, and Monterre. Come out to La Pechanga.
you know, I, I do this for the love of the kids. I do it for the love of the coaches and the ADs because there's not enough high school coverage in the St. Louis area. Um, th- there's just not. Yeah. Once again, I get to keep my relationships with, you know, guys like you and, and a lot of the other great coaches and administrators and, and former athletes. And that's one of the cool things that we're going to do here, too, is, you know, I've been fortunate covering some great, you know, great coaches and great kids. But, you know, the, the caravan is, you know, we, I wasn't letting it die. And sure enough, we're here now. And, and you know, the reboot is in full effect. As your local farmer's agent in Crystal City, Missouri, Caleb Nose helps customers like you identify the insurance coverage that best fits your needs. This process is straightforward and personalized to help make you smarter about insurance. Caleb has the knowledge and experience to help you better understand your coverage options, whether that's auto, home, renters, business, life insurance, and more. Give the Caleb Nose Agency a call at 636-933-6333, and he'll be happy to answer any questions you might have. We hope you're enjoying tonight's presentation. Take advantage of the HD experience here with Livestream STL by going to the TKDS Sports Network app. Download the app and subscribe by going to videos.tkdssports.com. That'll get you access onto our TKDS Sports app roku and fire stick and thanks so much for your support of live stream stl and we are back here don't forget uh, the rest of our week here for jeffco diamondcast baseball tomorrow night we'll be out at crystal city high school Herculidium takes on Crystal City at 4.15 will be our pregame, 4.30 first pitch. And then Friday, we'll be over at DeSoto High School. Hillsboro comes to town there. Same time as well, 4.15 is our pregame, 4.30 first pitch. And we jump right back in here, guys. Uh, so had some uh, great banter, great things to talk about. And we're going to go right on into the next segment here. Coach Miller, what do we got going on? Oh, I guess I'll yeah, I'll run the agenda here. Yeah, run the agenda. You're the agenda one. I guess. Yeah. Yeah. That were, comes up were, with you it. Were you were voted. You're the commercial you're the, maker. Yeah. You're, I mean, you are the show. Do you guys do anything besides <laughs> just show we up? We carry the show. <laughs> with what? I don't know. <laughs> Not with cup wins. <laughs> no, <I don't. laughs> what do you bring now? to the show? <laughs> Nothing. I had myself. <laughs> yeah. What do you bring? Ninety nine point one stickers. <laughs> so, so tomorrow's a holiday in St. Louis. It is a big holiday in St. Louis. Yep. Be all kinds of red all over the place. Sea of red. I'm mm-hmm. wearing my red. Hey, and hey, Bush buddy. Stadium is going to be packed <laughs> with yes, fifteen air thousand. Fifteen thousand. You think I can get a scalp ticket outside? One hundred seventy-two dollars. <laughs> okay, I'm not going. <laughs> you can go to patios a lot cheaper than that. If you're going to spend one hundred seventy-two bucks, you're going to be kind of lit up. <laughs> oh. I may not be able to get home, but <laughs> Uber. Uh, oh. Uber drive. <laughs> Just get a room, Terrellin. Uh. Listen, you could actually probably get a hotel room. You could get lit up, and it's still oh, cheaper than buying a ticket. <laughs> the views go. on live stream. <laughs> Come well, on, I'm, that's the obvious. <laughs> that's the obvious. <laughs> what? This isn't like some – what? <laughs> what? You what? disagree with me? <laughs> oh. See? Oh, He's right. I didn't even have to say that. Right. Appreciate oh. that, Big Bang. Oh, there, there, oh you're you, just right? making up for ripping <laughs> I'm making up for Oh, oh my gosh. Up gosh. Uh, anyway, yeah. I, I mean – National I, holiday. I'm glad right we now. have opening day. I'm yeah. glad the fact that there's people who get to watch the game in the stands and get to go to establishments – and have but, whatever they want to eat and drink. But sorry, guys, for you, no, no Budweiser man, no beer man. They're not doing oh. that apparently. They're not doing that. But the Clydesdales will be there. Clydesdales will be there. So, so it's a plus. Yep. But oh, you mean so you'll have to walk to the I would stand imagine to get yeah. it. Oh yeah, that's what you got to buy too. <laughs> <laughs> So you don't have to make two per, trips. <laughs> two per limit. So now it's That's what? Exactly. $40 Wait. to Wait. walk up and down the steps? Have I ever told you guys my, my all-inclusive uh, blues uh, story? Uh, yes. Yes. Is this yes. an off-the-air story? It's off-the-air time. Okay, ah, no, no, no. no okay. it's, definitely, it's a good time. Anyway, right. bring, a, bring a couple koozies. <laughs> keep, keep your uh, iced tea very, very cold. Well, Thank I'll be interested to see tomorrow 
how downtown is mm-hmm. and how they, Packed. I guess you could say, police it mm-hmm. as far as amount of people. Now that they're not allowing that many people in the stadium, mm-hmm. how what many do you think people? Ballpark are- Village will look like. Oh Packed. Packed. my goodness! Packed. Except for like a designated seat. By the way, I just had to had to go look and see. Uh, you could buy a group of eight mm-hmm. table ticket. You had to get a ticket. It's four hundred fifty dollars oh for goodness. ballpark for village. Ballpark village for eight people. Yep. I'm what is man. that like? Free food and drink? Uh, no, well, no, it's no, four fifty for you to sit. Oh my god! In ballpark village and watch the game on the big yeah, screen. Yeah, I think I'd watch yeah. that at. I just sit in my house and watch Val- Valley Sports Midwest. <laughs> yes. yes, That's what happens when you let casinos buy well, crap. I saw that on the TV what? last night. I was like, Valley? Oh, yeah. That's it, right. Danny Max having a hard time with that <laughs> thing. <laughs> Valley Sports Midwest. I'm like, yeah, <laughs> nobody likes it. It's dumb. So well, my no, because you can't is, watch it. You can't watch it on TV. Uh-uh. What? What, what well, app yeah. are you watching? With? I'm, I'm just saying, if you don't have what, either Direct or AT and T, one of the two, yeah. you can't. You yeah, can't have it on Hulu. My mom and dad keep complaining. I'm, I'm like, well, get rid of Dish. Yeah. yeah, why would you have Dish? Ugh. I don't even have either one of them now. <laughs> if you got Hulu Live, you can't even watch. Can't it. Even Hulu Live, yeah, uh, YouTube, no. none of that. What about Paramount Plus? No. Nope. I don't think so. No, you no. don't get it there. No. You don't no. get no. it for you. No. <laughs> hey, wait, doesn't uh, does Charter have it? Uh, I think Charter. It's does. either AT and T or Direct. Direct one of the one of those two. Charter doesn't have it. I thought Charter I Spectrum know. had the. That's, an, that's well, an antitrust Fox issue. Or it's something. Is that an antitrust issue? Social studies guys. Uh, <laughs> not yet. Well, I mean, ba- baseball's getting hit with a little antitrust <laughs> problem. So my question is, <laughs> let's keep is, moving on. <laughs> yeah. Go ahead, Blair. My Where question is, is with this all this downtown <laughs> stuff, are is it going to be as televised as big? I mean, are the social media world gonna Show all the people lined in there, packed no, in. No, why not? They did not in Texas. <laughs> why not? Why not? They did it in Pius. <laughs> ah! Yes, St. Pius the Tenth. But it'll be interesting. Super super still, spreader still, event. still marked free from the super spreader <laughs> yeah. event. I'm good. I'm good. <laughs> but I think it'll be interesting to see how that all plays out and how much backlash the city gets for allowing we, it. I don't. I on a national scale. It, I think it's a blip on the radar. It isn't, an app, but in local St. No, Louis I think, area, I think everybody's going to be so happy well, that yeah, it's Cardinals so. baseball. I hope so. What are you talking about? I, I don't think, hear anyone talking about COVID around here. Oh I don't boy. see anyone walking around in St. Louis. All worried they do. About, oh no, they don't. I've been to St. Louis. <laughs> I don't know. I mean, if you're going to go to TGI Fridays, you got to wear that mask walking in. Oh yeah, that bunch of them say that. I just walk on in. No, Sam Page will show where, up where there. Wearing the sleeveless shirt and be like, <laughs> <That's> right, <baby. laughs> you're, you're the reason. You know you're the reason why we're going to have more gun laws. A few laws. more, <laughs> few more pounds. I'm going to have to. <laughs> I'm going to have to do that. Sleeveless oh, commercial. Yeah. About, about time you do any commercial. No. <laughs> it's been a minute. I, I've done more than some people. Wow. Sorry. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, I'm, I'm coaching middle school baseball. Exactly, okay? yeah, I'm busy right now. You could have the kids help you with one. It would be yeah, great. Yeah. Part of practice. <laughs> Anywho, we're not going to worry about cutoffs today. <laughs> <laughs> we're going to film a commercial. So uh, before we go on to the next topic, let's make yeah. sure we mention again about uh, liking – our page, yep. sharing our share show, it, share it, share it uh, to your page, and then fill out uh, fill out the form and enter yourself in for a chance to win a fifteen dollars yeah, yeah, lobster gift sponsor, card. And I'm gonna throw up the uh, yes. I'm gonna throw up the uh, Q yeah. code again. And hey, before we go on to that, let's kind of QR code that. Uh, QR Ray, if you don't that. if you don't mind, can you hey. add, once you get done with that QR yeah. code, can you yeah, bring up our uh, sponsorship uh, informational yeah. sheet um, there and sure. uh, we'll kind of um, talk a little bit about that. I was supposed to do that. I did. Did I have something that didn't it's okay. get sent to me? Uh, I got another Q code, but that's for the sponsorship thing. Yeah, from yeah. last. Yeah. Is that what you're talking about? Okay. Yeah. Yeah. So get snap that f- if you want to do the form. We're going to mm-hmm. pull right out of here right now, and we'll go right here to the <laughs> other Q cards. Sponsorship opportunities. There you go. Hey, Talk terrible. about it. Talk about it. Sorry. <laughs> <laughs> you got it in front of you. I know. I just, I just pulled it up. I was waiting. To, anyway, um, you know, if you, if you want to, we're, we're going to continue doing the craning cup, even though I retired. Let everybody else have a chance, kind of like Mike, Mike had to do. Oh, jeez. <laughs> That's why Hakeem got the win. <laughs> anyway. So he's going to come back with number 45. Yeah, I could. Mm. I could. I could do that. 
I'm not playing if you're not doing it. <laughs> <laughs> fine. Boy, God. Boy, fine. God. Boy, fine. God. I like it. He's I like, like, I like my odds. <laughs> anyway, if you want to sponsor the Cranium Cup trivia, it's $50. Um, you know, and we'll, we'll obviously put, uh, you know, put a tagline for your business. And it's good for all these are good for a month. If you want to just do one of our segments, $50 sponsorship. If you want to be the outright sponsor of the show, it's $250. You're the exclusive sponsor. We'll shoot a commercial for you. We'll put a commercial in. Uh, for your business and you know we just again it's all about giving back to the community it's all about giving back uh to to the businesses and trying to help them out because it goes back into a fund where basically we're going to be doing uh you know the, the gift giveaway we like to include some bigger prizes if we could but at the same time it's all about helping the the businesses that have been affected by the shutdown and all this covid nonsense and we want to help them get back. And eventually, if we can ever get to it and get enough, we'd like to uh, do some kind of scholarship. So that's the long-term goal. This is what we would really like to do, though, in the short term. So if you if you want to, if you have, if you know a business, if you are the person who runs a, even a small business, uh, you can sponsor the show. We'll we'll put everything out there. We'll advertise for you. And uh, if you haven't watched our commercials, excuse me, my commercials, oh. um, wow. you know, we'll get as creative as we need to be. And I think the other thing that we want to mention, too, is Sorry. if you're a business <laughs> and let's just say that you don't want to sponsor, but you want to give, you know, maybe give us a, a, a gift certificate to your business for us to raffle off um, on our show, you know, basically uh, every week that we do. I mean, we more than take to that just to get, get you an opportunity to get somebody into your building. Um, or your business or whatever uh, to try to highlight you guys and, and what kind of work you do. Um, hopefully that you can gain something from that as well. So if that's something you want to do, um, you know, we would love to, to highlight your business with your gift certificate um, to give away each week. And that's what was something we're trying to do every week is highlight um, a business and give a gift certificate out to uh, some of the local businesses. So uh, if that's something that interests you, we would love to come by and, and uh, buy something um, from a local businesses. I know the last we did Case and Bucks and we've done La Pachanga the last two weeks, but uh, you know next week we'll try to yeah. to go somewhere else and, and get a gift certificate to somewhere else to to try to highlight this local businesses. I know um, you know next door to La Pachanga here opening up here is uh, Emo's Pizza, so maybe we can uh, mention Emo's. that up and uh, Emo's. see yeah. if maybe we can, maybe right? I'll have to hit Mark up yeah. and see if I can get. And if not, yep. we would love to buy a fifteen dollar gift certificate to Emos and just try to give that as out as well. But mm-hmm. uh, you know, we we want to give back to the to the local community. I mean, I think it's a it's a huge thing. Um, you know, we've been doing this show fifty five weeks now, and uh, double nickel. You know, it's it's. Uh, you I know, know I got it when I saw that <laughs> double nickel. <laughs> double <laughs> nickel. Double we nickel. have uh, we know Took when a we lot, first started this. The light bulb, <laughs> we first started this. We never really I think we thought we were going to be doing this for fifty five. No, weeks, not right? at all. Not at uh, all. Jarvis, were you a little slow at that? No, Fastest <laughs> application. Just check. actually poking fun at myself. But oh, you yeah. know, okay. the biggest thing about it is, is if we wouldn't have been here 55 weeks if it wasn't for the people that watch our show sure. every week. Right. Um, mm-hmm. And the local businesses that have supported us and, you know, like La Pachanga that has opened their doors for us free yep. every week to allow us to come in here. So um, support well, your local. it hasn't really been <laughs> free for me, but I mean, you know. It's free for you. Yeah, tax write off, <laughs> <laughs> charitable <laughs> donation. Right, right. But anyway, I mean, that's uh, hopefully you guys, oh, you get a chance, you know somebody, pass along to the the QR code is up there. Mm-hmm. Um, we, if anybody wants to know, you can email uh, coach, Coach's Mailbox. That's C O A C H S Mailbox at gmail.com. We already had one. I'm going to make address. sure this works. Yeah. yeah. Wait, you want to make sure the email address works? Let's see if that works. It does Sweet work. Taste. Look at that. The QR code came up. What the hell do you think I do? I, I make <laughs> stuff that works. How about that? It cracked me. That I whole conversation things. today cracked me up. <laughs> oh, the QR code <laughs> yeah, conversation? So I was like, he don't even know how to use it. You know? <laughs> what? what is that? You What's have, a QR you code? Know. What's a QR right. code? Right. Yeah, I know what a QR code is. <laughs> now he does. Uh, ben Elick says, "How come I you guys think? can't do it then? Oh, how yeah. about that? Oh, that's right. Uh, that's right. That's why my back hurts all the time. Uh, the carrying. We're well, too busy teaching. Yeah, I'm not in know. an office <laughs> with the door closed. I'm out making commercials with right. five hour lunch shifts and <laughs> whatever <laughs> else is going on. Lunch. <laughs> lunch time. He did. A, he did an interview with me this week for uh, exactly. Yeah, yeah. 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 We saw that. Everybody else should. Ben Elick." <laughs> says, can I sponsor Chris Miller for a dollar a day? 
You, can, <laughs> you two can sponsor a coach. <laughs> only ben, if, you play, ben, only if, if you play Arms of an Angel or whatever that's <laughs> <song. laughs> Sarah McLaughlin. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, I will remember. Yeah. Yeah. Hey, Ben, I'll tell you what. You give me some uh, – you give me some gear. I, yeah, you can do that. Give me a dollar a day. <laughs> dollar Boom. Day. Get some Done. next level gear going next on. Next level, oh, yeah. Oh my hey, next by the way, I need, some, I need some next level Uh-oh, gear. Oh, look at him. Uh, I'll pull I got one. Hey, of hey shirts stop too. taking your hey, shirt hey, off. Hey, hey, hey. hey, this is a family show. This is a next uh, level. I'm, we've Put already that back seen the pictures out there. I don't need them. Put that shirt back on. Can't play, beat it. We're not on TKDS. We can't do that. It's a free show. It's a free show. <laughs> Chinese wow. can watch it. Uh, <laughs> no. Uh, oh, my gosh. Uh, <laughs> sorry. Anyway, back to other stuff that doesn't count. Wow. Uh, like hey, the blues. He, hey, this guy is a, he, he went down a size, and so – uh, make, Coach uh, Elick, make sure you remember that he went down a size in clothes now. He's yeah, uh, on this big I'm diet, still XL. So. Oh, okay. I got broad shoulders. So you can wear, <laughs> finally wear that Christmas gag present then. Oh, I could probably do yeah. that. Yeah. I just feel like more I got in the closet. <laughs> I need to wear it on the show next time. Exactly. My bad. And he's going to keep bad. it off. Yeah. What? He's, and he's going to keep it off. Well, I hope so, but right. I really do want some pizza. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, blues. Yeah. Yeah, this, back to them. This whole right. diet thing sucks. Yeah. And Are blues, they? back to that. Yeah, they're playing right now, playing pretty good right now, yeah, actually. It's about but, time. You know, so hey. I mean, hey, trade deadline's Monday. Trade Bennington. Buyers or sellers. We're not trading Bennington. Are you trade nuts? Trade Bennington. Are don't don't be that guy. Oh, I'm being a don't be We're that guy. guy. I was just seeing all these people post all this crap about them. I'm like, are the you serious? Trolls. Yeah, they, they're the same guys who say uh, bring back Marty Turco or something. We're going to be wow. buyers. We're going to be buyers. Do we, we have buyers? Money? Do we have money? It's to be buyers. buyers? You know, I mean, if we trade thought, certain people, we'd have uh, money. Tarasenko? Well, that's not happening. I thought that was the whole reason why we couldn't get the uh, Petrangelo Robert Thomas? or whoever. No. We didn't have money. No, we no, not, not doing well, that. Well, and we spent money on the other defensemen, and we couldn't. Krug yeah, and Krug. Fall. How's Krug? Krug. How are they panning out? Uh, well, they're Krug's not as okay. good defensively. You know. <laughs> and the power play isn't Years. that great. Uh, Matter of fact, I'm trying to figure out who actually is playing well. Um, well, they all just came back from seven. getting hurt, a lot of them. Mm. So you've got to well, take that into consideration, Look, too. there's only like 18 games left. We ain't got time for yeah. that crash. Bring Let's back go. Keenan. I'm s- oh, my gosh. No. <laughs> Hold on. Listen, I got something to say about Cujo? that. <laughs> no, Cujo? Cujo? Wait, wait, wait. Yeah, no, Cujo, wait, wait. Forget the sound home. effects. Don't you ever say that. <laughs> <laughs> right? Don't you ever say that. <laughs> I said it to see if I get a reaction okay. wow. out of you and Ray. Listen, we had Wayne Gretzky, and that SOB messed that all up. I'd be in the absolute worst. Worst coach he in the history sure of the did. NHL. True. He sucks. We had True. Wayne. We had yeah. Wayne freaking Gretzky. Hey, he was trying to uh, find a house down in Jefferson County. Yes. I remember. Oh, that. no, no, no. Because yeah. that was in just uh, south, that was just south, just south of Jefferson County. Yeah, 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 yeah. Asbestos well, area. Yeah. yeah. It, that was when he still school, lives in the school. area. Yeah, still lives there. He loves St. Louis. Well, he one, just one of his houses. Okay, I'm but sure. still, he spends a lot right. of time. His wife's from there. Right. So we, you know what? We screwed. We screwed up. God, it's terrible. <laughs> but anyway, I digress. Does that surprise you? I did that uh, well, was just the blues to fire from, uh, Chris what? up. <laughs> <laughs> you did. You fired him up? Yeah. So what needs to happen going forward? Uh, I hockey, mean, hockey no. do we need to be buyers I, or sellers? I saw something today. If, 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 they, if they lose two more games, they got to be – I mean, yeah. well, they only got how many until the trade? Probably two more. Okay. Yeah. If they lose Once two, they got to they go. They got to they start selling off. Somebody's I, saying Schwartz is going to go. I'd hate to see that. Uh, I, I like the way he plays on yeah, defense. I do, too. Even though he's, he's, he's going to trade some, some big-time name. Uh, yeah. if, if you're going to trade Schwartz, you better go get that, that uh, Hall kid he's, who used to play like for the New else. Jersey Devils. Yeah. Now he's with the Sabres. But uh, Buffalo Sabres have, are like a dumpster fire. Oh, if absolutely. we have any problems here in St. Louis, it could be a hell of a lot worse. Yeah. You, yes. could you could be the Buffalo, Buffalo <laughs> Sabres. <laughs> they are so Ooh. bad. Right. Yeah, but that's no expectation. We had No, their culture is awful. We had expectation of yeah. making the playoffs, winning. I, I mean, mean, right now, hey, for a while. Are we, we in the playoffs right now? No. They're in like sixth place. Fifth, aren't we? I, I think they dropped down to sixth after oh, the last yeah. game. <laughs> yeah. So. They're not playing very so well. So are they going to do what they've done the last couple of years and get rid of the coach? No. 
No, Ruby I'm just there. asking. You don't get You rid just of won a Stanley Cup two years ago. Are you I'm, kidding me? There's no they, way. They he got gets rid a five of year pass. Yo, they nope. got rid of the guy before yo. AJ Hinch got fired, and he won a World Series a couple oh, years before. What's his face was the NBA coach of the year, and he well, got wait, fired. NBA, NBA yeah. coaches. Yeah. Wait, what do you really do when you're the when you're an NBA coach? Make money. Draw, uh, huh? hey. Make money. You make money. What do you really do? Are you really coaching those guys up? Are you coach? Hey, you drawing that up, and LeBron's over there going, "Yeah, I'm going to do this." No well, way. I, hey, apparently, I, that's what's I'm going gonna, on in I'm hockey, a, too. I'm going to go between my legs a couple times. In that last second play, <laughs> we run an intricate screen over here and, you know, get a back pick here. I'm just going to pull up and shoot it. At <laughs> half court. <laughs> from the top of the key falling backwards. <laughs> and, and if I make it, it's cool. But more likely, I'm not. Yeah. So, anyway. Hey, you yeah, be the coach. GM and try to fire Baruby. You try I'm to bring. Just you try to bring him in the, the castle. office. Yeah, no, you try I'm to bring him in the office and try to tell him. Uh, Wait, I don't sorry, know. I'm sorry, Mr. Maruby. I'm just saying. Fired. Do you know anything about? Right, uh, hockey, no. About He's going to kick your butt. No. He was. He he was. He was Enforcer. a goon. Yeah, yeah. he was That's a fine. goon, man. Yeah. He could probably beat the hell out of half his team right now, if not all of them. Well, right. maybe There's they no need. They need. They probably need it. Maybe they need it. They got a chance. He's like seventy. <laughs> but either way, you can only say the same thing after the every game so many times. He stopped saying the same thing. He's like, "We're not playing well." Pretty simple. He's, that could be an, another topic. What do you do as a coach? I mean, what do you what do? do? What do you well, do? Well, high school coach can't really trade kids <laughs> away. <laughs> Open enrollment codes, baby. Hey, yeah, I was going to say, there you go. That's going to uh, – we never talked about that. That was a tough topic. We you could if you're, you valued your kid's education, right? We really don't do that. That's kind of recruiting. <laughs> and recruiting's bad. Recruiting's bad. <laughs> you just need a mailbox if you're public school. Anywho. Oh. What? Why are you shaking your head? You wow. know I'm right. You, <laughs> you know I'm right. I'm so, da- I'm so damn tired of that drum. Uh, you're, so, you're talking <laughs> like you're from Annapolis, and they have mailboxes I down spent there. a little bit of time over the Easter with in Annapolis town. It's uh, good Friday Night Lights, they had mailboxes. <laughs> yes, they did. <laughs> they did. That was a wow. great, great series. Yes, it was. I might have to watch that Yes, again. it was. That was good. Yeah. All right. <laughs> He's like, hey, moving on. Yeah, yeah, moving yeah, on. Have you all watched... The, hey, the one, the one thing he watches, and we don't want to talk about it. He's always out of the loop for every everything every, else. Everything else. Everything and now you else. don't want to talk. How do you I'm Last chance, you. It's what you want to talk about. Yeah. Here. <laughs> no, I watched it. I watched oh, the football one. I watched the basketball one. Why? Because I'm waiting. We had waiting for what? I don't know until I want to. <laughs> oh my Freeze gosh. over. Kind of. Well, you just had a year off. You could have watched all of them. They were on. <laughs> Dude, I was watching One Tree Hill. What are you One talking about? Tree Hill. Oh. <laughs> yes. Hold on. That's where's right. The, where's the hot chicks and basketball? Oh, my oh, oh, here's sound business. Hey, hey, One Tree Hill? Uh, I don't think so. Oh, okay. I, I, All right. I don't want to tell you. You better look it up, Jack. All right. It's good. <laughs> look it up. Anywho, you, you watch soap operas? What's, what's, wrong, with what's wrong with the young and the restless? Uh, Did when I was a kid. I, I wish did. I had the. Victor's speech. probably still on the show. He is. <laughs> <laughs> there you go. Everybody knows Victor. I swear to God, if you're if you're our age, do you know who that I'm talking about? <laughs> you, ever, you ever been to your grandma's and had young? Oh yeah, on? bold and the beautiful. Bold, bold and beautiful. Oh, that's that's one. Watch. That days of our lives. Days, days of our lives. lives. Yep. I was a oh, days yeah. of our lives fan. Hold on. Stefano. <laughs> now, would you put would Stefano you put Stefano was my father? Yeah. <laughs> would you put Dallas in that oh same category? Gosh. Oh my Oh, now if you had to set something oh, off of yeah. Dallas, Dallas, I mean, yeah. yeah. Dynasty, Dallas. Dynasty in Dallas. Yeah. Um, there we go. Knott's Landing. Yeah. And Knott's but, Landing. Yeah. Yeah. Gilligan's Island? I mean, yeah. I know it's not the same type of show here, but <laughs> it's I, not really a soap opera, no, except that they just Saved by the Bell. I mean, what was song Saved by the Bell? Saved by the Bell. All right. That was old school for you, huh? No, not as old as Gilligan's Island. <laughs> no, for you, that was Wait, Saved no. by the Bell. That My eleven year old loves Drake and Josh. He's Drake discovered and Drake Josh. and Josh. I don't know so what that is. Know either. That's no. Are you kidding know. me? Uh, that sound no. like rain. That is rain. Ooh, that's yeah, it's still rain and rain it's, out it's there. Tearing it up out there. Yeah. We've had a lot of weeks where it's been like this. A lot yeah. of I got, I'll, I'll give you right out. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Put the hose just, away. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> anyway. <laughs> All right, we moving on? Yeah, yeah. I, it's, actually, I think it's time to go to commercial according to our agenda. 104. Yeah, we, Let's we, do we, it. We, we did it. Just like that. Just like that. We are going to move on. Move yeah. on, just like Deshaun Watson. Oh. That's Nike. Oh. And beats Nike. Nike. Oh. Beats Nike. Moving on. 
more to come hey, on that yeah, next yeah. week <laughs> on the coaches. Yeah, yeah. we'll definitely talk about that because there's more unfolds from that. <laughs> yep. And it will. Yeah, it's like, it, wait, is he is he going to be in the next Predator movie? Oh. <laughs> You're watching the coaches box. We'll be right back. <laughs> Jefferson College has affordable degree options for students of all ages. Plus, register before December 11th and you could win a $250 book scholarship or other great prizes. Jefferson College provides safe on-site and online options and many exciting career pathways like humanities, business, social science and public service, math, physics and technology, and science and health. Students who know, go Jeffco. Enroll now at jeffco.edu. Hi, I'm Lawrence Krodinger with Home by SMCI. Whether it's residential or commercial, we have the right products for you. Global Plasma Solutions will attack your bacteria, mold, viruses, even help dust in your house. They install easily, less than 45 minutes, and it's invaluable for the rest of your life. If you're interested in any of the products that we do offer, give us a call at 636-337-4444 or send us an email at service at homebysmci.com. Hey, Ray Halbrook here with Livestream STL. We hope you're enjoying tonight's broadcast. Do us a huge favor. Check out our brand new website, livestreamstl.tkdsports.com. There you'll see plenty of information about your schools, uh, articles about different games and whatnot. And we appreciate you checking that out. Do us a huge favor also. We'd really like for you to mention Livestream STL to your athletic directors and superintendents. Tell them you want us in there to uh, bring high value to your school. We'd appreciate that. And thanks again for watching tonight's broadcast. Guys, 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 I've always wanted to ask you this since you're both pitchers. What's your favorite pitch? Is it, I know, it's a fastball? Okay, I know, it's a curveball. No? Okay, well, what's, what's your favorite pitch? Oh, yeah. Spitball. The Main Street Sports Show. You never know what we're going to throw at you. This is Coach Riley Blair from the Herculean Black Cats. Hi, this is Coach Jarvis from the Herculean Black Cats. Hi, this is Coach Zach McVeigh with the Jefferson Lady Blue Jays. Hi, I'm Chris Miller from St. Pius X High School. And you're watching the Coach's Box. And you are watching the Coach's Box on Livestream STL. The Livestream STL. And we are back here before we get to our last segment here. Jeffco Diamondcast Baseball is in effect right now. We are looking for some extra ad advertisers here for our pregame, postgame, things like that. Give us a call 314-852-4398 or livestream STL at Outlook.com. We'd appreciate that. Sponsor with us over here at Livestream STL. We move into our final segment here, guys. Open up the microphones and uh, are we going to do trivia? Is that what we're, what we're playing is? You want to do trivia Not right yet. now or do you, you want to? Yeah, let's do trivia right now. Okay, we'll yeah, yeah. All right, we can do that. All right. Trivia so we got a new, we, we're shaking it up. Uh-oh. Put your phones away. Shaking Fools. it up. Fool. Put your phone away. Put your phones away. Hold on, let me put up the graphic. Don't, Here it comes. Don't. That's right. I yeah, am please. the question master now. Uh-oh, watch out. Well, then how do we know Ray's got all kinds of, look I'll at all turn, the phones I'll turn both my phones off. There you go. There it is. Okay. There you go. No, it's just monitoring the, 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 the well, you, you, yeah because sometimes people put the answers on their ray no, well, yeah do don't you all know how that goes ray, ray. chris you won know, all those how do you weeks, think chris ray. didn't win he knew the freaking answer <laughs> didn't nice answer a blind you, guy Carl. <laughs> Jeez. Nice i seem to think you, that the Carl. questions are going to be rolling up on that ipad for, for no, ray here not. just a few they're minutes not. all right we ready now i've got I'm gonna my jump into you all ready Let's Jarvis, go. are you ready? First yeah. week. Here we go. Uh, Look at go. you. You're so excited. You have a chance to win. All right. All these questions are NBA questions this from gosh. the 1990s. Wow, NBA. Specifically for you, McVay. <laughs> no, because, hey, I, mean, hey I, 
I know from being on that side of it that <laughs> it's frustrating when they're not recent ish <laughs> questions. So what trying to say is you're, you're going to be that guy. All that's, right. That's fine. Question number one. <laughs> McVay's going to win. Question number uh, one. In 1882, no, I'm kidding. <laughs> in the strike shortened 1998 99 season, the San Antonio Spurs defeated the New York Knicks in the finals, four games to one. The Knicks came into the playoffs as the eighth seed in the Eastern Conference, but they upset the top seed in the first round, three games to two. What team did the Knicks defeat in the first round? A, the Indiana Pacers. B, the Orlando Magic. C, the Detroit Pistons. Or D, the Miami Heat. What year? 1998-99. It's the year after the Bulls' second three-peat. When the Spurs decided they were going to start winning. Twin Towers. Mm, mm, mm. And they beat the Knicks, who were the eighth seed. 98-99. Yes, it was a strike-shortened season. Kobe was already playing. Mm-hmm. Ah. Answers. Answer. Here we go. Go ahead, Ray. Come what on, wait, wait, still waiting. Okay. Hold them up. We got. Don't no, show. They all got them. Hey, all got Let's see. Second, huh? You had Everybody a the Pacers. Them. You had a Pacers. The Pacers. You had what? Not that. The D heat. the Heat. The answer is Miami Heat. Oh wow! Miami Heat were the number one seed. Got beat by Alonzo. the Knicks. I thought that hey. was, yep. I was now they all tricked me with going to yeah. A. I thought, eh, maybe not. Blair got it. Oh, Question number two. I like these questions, though. In 1992, <laughs> the Orlando Magic won the NBA draft lottery and selected Shaquille O'Neal with the first overall pick. Yeah, they did. In 1993, yeah, the Magic won the lottery yeah, again. But on draft day, they now traded their know. first overall selection to Golden State for Anthony Penny Hardaway. Who did the Magic select? <sighs> Number one overall pick. I thought they picked Penny. No. no. A, Sean Bradley. B, Chris mm. Weber. C, Jamal Mashburn. D, Glenn Robinson. Oh, you got, you're going way too fast. Okay. Mashburn. A, Sean Bradley. Okay. B, Chris Weber. Okay. C, Jamal Mashburn. Okay. D, Glenn Robinson. What year? 94? Nin- 1993. 93. I should know this. This is about. Yeah. Oh, I, I hey, I, I put it right in you guys' wheelhouse. I, I, so I don't want to hear anybody piss them on it. Maybe got this one. Maybe. <laughs> Maybe. There's a chance. Ready? All right. And Jarvis, go. you ready? One, two, three, go. Do it. I don't know. I have no okay. idea. Okay. You I answered C, Mashburn. Did you have C? You had B. You had B, Chris Weber. The answer is Chris Weber. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Darn it. I played one on year at Golden board. State, yeah. got traded to the Bullets. Yeah. I'm on was, the board. Got, I was got to pick, a Don Nelson. I was going to pick Weber, and I yep. gets it pick Matt. Hey, how do, hey, do we know how they got Penny Hardaway? Where did they learn about Penny Hardaway? That's not extra points. Yeah, no, <laughs> extra points. no extra points. Fine. You can say it. For if you want. those that are watching, no points. Blue Chips. Okay. The movie Blue Chips. There you go. All right. Hey, I got a point. I'm happy about it. All right. What well, we got like a. Who's, who's got point? Point? Keep one, 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 one. And I oh. owe for Zero. Zero. Oh. Come on, <laughs> Question number three. On draft day in 1998, the Dallas Mavericks traded away their sixth overall selection, Robert Tractor Trailer mm. from the University of Michigan, for a 20-year-old German kid dead, named dude. Dirk Nowitzki, who was drafted ninth overall. What team made this epic fail trade? A, the Milwaukee Bucks. B, the Denver Nuggets. C, the Los Angeles Clippers, D, the Sacramento Kings. Bucks, hey, Nuggets, what else? Again. Bucks, Nuggets, Clippers, Kings. What year? 1998. They traded for Trailer. No, no, the Mavericks traded away Robert Tractor Trailer, which was for their. Nowitzki. For Nowitzki. He ended up being okay. Just the Trailer is dead. You're correct. Mm. We ready? Are you mm. ready? Mm. Not you. You ain't got one yet. Yes. Okay. Ray God. says, see the Clippers. You said D. Yeah. Kings. Trying, couldn't even, I can't even read your hand right I there. Hey, Bucks. And what do you have? Kings. Kings. The answer is the Milwaukee Bucks. Mm. Hey. I finally am on there. <laughs> are you guys one. all tied? We are all tied. tied. Good. I'm glad I got tiebreaker questions. <laughs> We're all 
This Four is I'll, I'll, I'll one 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 one. Oh, oh my! <laughs> yeah! Uh, you're telling me there's a chance. There's a chance, baby. I like this. Question number four. <laughs> yeah, I, I like this because we don't have Chris. <laughs> right. Well, sorry. Question number four: The 1995-96 Bulls finished the regular season with a 72 and 10 regular season record. Of their 10 losses during the regular season, what team beat them twice? Oh shoot! A. Seattle SuperSonics. B, the Charlotte Hornets. C, the Toronto Raptors. D, the Indiana Pacers. Mm. What year was that? 95-96. I think. The year. I think it was this team. Too, I think it was this sure. team. Greatest team ever. I think ever. you circled the same exact one I did. Yep. I, th- I think I remember maybe this on the last dance. Maybe. But I could be wrong. I really? Could, I, yeah, most answers. of the time I am. Flippy flop. Flip. What do you got? They all got beat. Switch. Got beat. What do you got? I'm going out on a limb. I'm the only one that got Well, you're out because it's the Pacers. Dang it. Indianapolis. Yeah. All right. So we got a three-way, three-way tie. tie. Yeah, okay. There we go. Now the new guy is still in it. <laughs> Woo! All right. Tiebreaker question number five. What NBA team regrettably traded away their 13th overall pick? A high school phenom named Kobe Bryant to the Los Angeles Lakers for center Vladi Divac on draft day in 1998. A, the Toronto Raptors. B, the Charlotte Hornets. C, the Milwaukee Bucks. D, the Minnesota Timberwolves. I didn't mark any of them, so you can look. I don't care. But I, don't <laughs> I already know the answer. Say it again. Raptors. Raptors, Hornets, Bucks, Timberwolves. What year again? 98. What team traded away Kobe Bryant for Vladi Divac, the flop master? I think it's this one. Let's Answers, go. let's go. go. You said Minnesota. You said Charlotte. You said Charlotte. The answer is Charlotte. Dang it. Nope. The Hornets. You. I'm out. Now we're down to two. Watch out. Ooh. Don't worry. I've got – eventually we're going to – we have a, I have a close to the pen. Not yet. I remember that because I just watched Kobe Bryant thing <laughs> yeah. in history of sports. Not yeah. too Next long question. Though. What player is the only NBA player to score 70 plus points in a single game during the entire decade of the 1990s? Oh, during wow. the 90s. During the 90s. A. Hakeem the Dream, Elijah Wan. B. Michael Jordan. C. David Robinson. D. Carl Malone. 70? 70 plus points in a single game. There's only one guy to do it the entire decade. Okay, you said Dream. The Dream, yep. Jordan, Robinson, and what's the the like? mailman, Carl Malone. Malone? I don't know. That's oh, tough. Oh, I like that. I don't one, know. Though. I think I know the. I, I knew the answer to that one too. I came with the answer. <laughs> I don't I know. I think I know the answer. Ah. Ugh. You said A, Hakeem Olajuwon. You said C, the Admiral David Robinson. It's Carl Malone, isn't it? The answer is David Robinson. Oh, wow. Yeah! Come From back when. I started out always. Oh, I'll Dude. present it. Uh. I should just name this the Chris Miller Didn't Trophy. did he have like 70 and 40? He had 71 and his, points. And it was the, oh, Lord. I, I started one. out 0 and 2. And <laughs> winner. Oh, winner. Winner, winner, chicken uh, dinner. Get that back over to the now, black hey, and red. You, you Keep feel it away from you, pious. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Hey. Wait, you won't. Oh, no, no, no. I'm going to put a pious logo on that on that sticking <laughs> thing, too, just just for you. Hey, hey, I'm glad Miller dropped out. Thank you. Yeah. Hey, I got some fans. Wait, wait, wait. wait. Was, was it better now? Do you yes. feel better about trivia? Yes. Sorry, Ray. I just <laughs> when you know all the questions and the answers in your head, you can just come up with these. I thought he was going to admit. Just, though. he knows all uh, the questions. Yeah. 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 Just ask questions. They say. Uh, so there you go. I'm just saying. I thought right. that's what you I were didn't. I didn't go to any website to do that. I knew this. <laughs> oh. can't. I tell you, you get in the '90s, and that's going to be a battle. I told you. I know, hey. I I figured I was like, I'm going to put it in their wheelhouse yeah, for one. Yeah, I ain't going to yeah. listen to no piss and moaning about it. That's one. And we're going to do basketball. And we I'll, did hey, all I'll, I'll, NBA, too. I, I mean, NBA, so. You what? I hate the NBA. You hated it back then? I hated it all. The whole time. Oh, man. Back that's then, that's great. when the NBA was good. That was NBA inside stuff. Yeah. Oh, oh man. man. Do you view- there's a whole – you can get it on YouTube. The yeah. whole – Oh, yeah? Oh, is it? Oh, oh, yeah. Oh, hell, that's what I want to do. Probably. Sorry, Riley. Not that I've watched okay. them. 
You sure? <laughs> Listen, I'll yeah, make. I'll, I'll promise I, you this. I'm really not a sore loser. I'm okay with it. <laughs> <Yes>. <laughs> As any coach that's uh, wow. playing against you, uh, they all agree with that. <laughs> I'm not a sore loser. All right, whatever. <sighs> not even close. Well, there we go. We got a new Cranium Cup. There we go. The Chris Miller Cranium Cup champion. Chris Miller. <laughs> oh, God. I'm going to flip the <laughs> yeah, on there. <laughs> anyway. Next week is going to have yeah, the Chris Miller. Yeah. And, and for our controversial topic that we're going to jump into. We, we've had <laughs> <laughs> my bad. Sorry, <laughs> twenty five thousand accounts. <laughs> Stop. Allegedly. Uh, allegedly, allegedly, I, I had a good joke. I will save that one uh, for off <laughs> air. Yeah. Off air. Um, with the with Major League Baseball moving the All Star Game out of Georgia due to political interest, the question that I have. Is should sports and politics mix, or should they stay separate? But we don't talk about that on here. Like church and state. Well, <laughs> I, I think your your biggest struggle with this is is uh, whose opportunity, whose right is it for them to make that decision? I mean, was it entire baseball? Or was it just a select committee of the All Star Game? <laughs> was the guy slicky. was the head of Facebook on there? <laughs> CNN and uh, we just got kicked off. <laughs> and you're off CNN. Uh, but I, but I think that's the the biggest thing is is was this a unanimous decision amongst a group of people or was no. this one individual's mindset that he didn't want to do that? It's a small eight percent. I think it's ridiculous. <laughs> just saying, squeaky wheel gets the grease. I mean, I, I there's that word called cancel culture. I think, well, one, two things. I don't think politics should ever be in place of any uh, sports at all. I think Even with the platform? I, I don't. Think about all the money that Georgia is losing. I can't because I can't count that high. It's Because <laughs> it's millions. It's unbelievable. And million <laughs> dollars. <laughs> dollars. Yeah. And, all it's be- and it's because of a select few of individuals' thought process. I don't see how I just don't that understand. political issue in general – Voter ID. For Georgia passed the, the bill mm-hmm. about voter ID so they can vote, which is a partisan bill Correct. to eliminate voter fraud. Okay, you can, we can argue about voter fraud and all this. I think it's pretty – when I went and voted for the school board election at South Iron the other day, you know what the first thing they asked me for? Where's your ID? Where's my ID? You know what any time I want to go buy liquor at the store, you know what they asked me for? Well, not anymore because you're old, but yeah. They oh, used to. They used to ask me. No, I still get carded. Oh, Thank you very okay, much. Okay, sorry. I wear a yeah. hat. They yeah. don't see the, the bald or the gray. It's true. Right. But it's got that baby yeah. face. I know. I yeah. still do. Yeah. Anyway, they get ask up. you for your ID so they can verify this is who you are. You want to get on a plane? ID. Yes. And you go to the license office, ID. Yeah. You got to have an ID. Um, you want to take, take the uh, SAT? <laughs> Unless you're Derek Gross. <laughs> oh, wow. Or the ACT. Uh, yeah. What did Calipari do there? <laughs> da, da. <laughs> so you have to have an ID. It's kind of an important deal, but not to vote. Why, why, why is that even an argument? I so mean, they're what? almost making it where you have to have a passport to even fly. Yeah, you do. That's a, you not, do now. That's you an have ID. Have, that's an ID. A no, picture. So you do have to have you a passport have, now? Yeah. Mm-hmm. To fly you yep. do? Mm-hmm. Even in in the country, even in yep, yes. at least the card. Yep, I don't even have a passport. I don't either. Mm-hmm. Well, not not the the book, but the oh. the card. Even even within the, it's allowed me to travel to other states. Like I'm a, not allowed to be in other mm-hmm. states. So if I want to fly, diseases. I have to go get a special ID. You do. The real? Mm-hmm. Well, that's new. The, is that the, it is. the it, real uh, two ID? Years ago. Ago. Yeah. Really? Yeah, because I we, haven't when flown we, when since we did I was Disney, married. When we did the Disney, uh, <laughs> wait a minute. <laughs> Disney yeah, I haven't trip. flown in a long yeah since I got married in Vegas. I think it's <laughs> what happens I, in Vegas. I just think that the yeah. whole Come back situation <laughs> um, was was acted on immediately instead of actually talked about, and I think that's the problem that it's becoming more of an issue. Is it was acted out, acted on, and now there's so much backlash. I'm thinking that there's going to be some more repercussions. Well, on we the, live on in the side of. And, well, I mean, and we've talked awful. about well, is this. Is this going to be at Atlanta Braves Stadium? Yes. Right? Mm-hmm. right? I mean, so the Braves are losing all kinds of money. Mm-hmm. I mean, mm-hmm. how do you uh, 
There's justify screwing one. One city for and another. And one city <laughs> in. Yeah. Yeah. Mama Blair says when you pick up tickets in Colorado for the All-Star game, you will have to show your ID. <laughs> so take well, that. Here's, here's the thing when we talk about politics and sports and do they mix, should they mix. I think all of us, and especially us that, that are educators, and we, we tell our students, you know, especially me that, that – teaches government and I'm, I'm sure you I taught teach government, American history history you know, and government we we say listen you we live in a democratic society we want you to participate in this process that that's our responsibility as an american citizen and here's the thing though when you talk about sports and entertainment because that's what it is it's entertainment Are i you think you have to delineate or differentiate between your job mm-hmm. your job and your rights, your constitutional rights as a citizen of the country. Because we're not saying, I don't think any of us up here would ever say, no, you should never have the right to yes. do whatever is in the Constitution. I don't think we're saying that. We're saying, should, should it mix? And you talked about the platform. Uh, after a ball game press conference, before a ball game press conference, I don't know if that's the correct forum for that. It, I but, don't know. But we I have... You, we have more access to, to people who are celebrities and, and mm-hmm. athletes now than ever with Twitter, mm-hmm. uh, social media in general. Yeah. Yeah. Why can't you do some it there? Of them, some of them need to get rid of Twitter because they're Don't press send. Some, some of them have gotten rid of Twitter. And, but yeah. but if, if, if that's what you want to do, I I just don't think it's – to for, a, for, a, for an entity look, to just up and say we're going to not do this because of this. Look at all the pressure LeBron took for not – being real quick to speak out on things. Mm-hmm. I mean, look at Jordan. Uh, I mean, well, and Jordan, Jordan just didn't. Jordan don't mm-hmm. care. Well, Jordan no, won't. Jordan's like a honey badger. You know what honey badgers <laughs> don't do. Hey, well, I mean, if you <laughs> watch <laughs> the last dance, Jordan they, don't care. No. He don't get. He wants to do one thing and one <laughs> thing only, and that's the win. Yeah. Yes. But I mean, it's it's asinine to say that that's the reason why you're going to move the entire All Star game across the country to Denver. I mean. It, when I when I go to Bush Stadium, and I'm pretty sure when you go to Coors Field, you know what I got to have an idea to buy beer. Mm-hmm. <laughs> mm-hmm. So that's that to me. That's kind of an oxymoron. Really I mean, I, I would I would if, if listen if I was somebody who really cared or wanted to go to the game and it's in Denver, and they tell me I need to have an ID, I would just flat out make a scene. <laughs> right away. Are you freaking kidding me? So we're going to put out a GoFundMe right now to send Chris Miller to the All-Star game. Well, then you got to do another GoFundMe to get me out of jail. That's right. So double co- yeah. GoFundMe. And, and that way – And jail um, doesn't go them. well with your <laughs> occupation. No. <laughs> no, I don't think it does. I don't know, though. I, if I ask for forgiveness – St. Pius, St. Prince. So, oh, my gosh. But, uh, wow. It's not good. You, the I, biggest I wouldn't do that. question is, is like Coach McVeigh said, is this a political agenda that's mixing entertainment sure. with politics? Everything, everything is politicized now. Yeah, everything. And no, and why do yes. you think that is? Because why do you because think that we is? because I think we live in a society. I think since we have grown up, we have gone and transformed from go outside until it's dark to now we are a microwave generation of everything is instant gratification now 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 yes. and. There's no more dialogue to say, okay, I hear what you're saying. I disagree. We can agree to disagree. Correct. Now it's, oh, you you don't agree with what I have to say. Not only are you wrong, you're stupid, and well, everybody and around you has to just completely go against your, what you're Your saying. definition of what I'm saying right. may be completely different than his definition. Mm-hmm. I may be telling you something, mm-hmm. and he hears it mm-hmm. about it. And he think, takes it completely out of line mm-hmm. and completely off subject. Right. Why is what it gotta be even, me? And, <laughs> but most likely you're the to easy do it. target. You're yeah. the easy yeah. target. Yeah. Yeah. But I think that that's the biggest issue is is I'm telling you what I'm thinking, mm-hmm. and he's overhearing it, and now he's taking it to another level. Or another situation. let me stop well, you there. We well, we also, yeah. and I'll say this. Yeah. We also, I think, have a culture problem oh in the gosh. United oh, yes. States, and oh, everything, and everything, uh, everything now has become morally relative, and so mm-hmm. that is a huge problem. Uh, yeah. That is a humongous uh, problem. Okay, so go back to your little situation there. You got this angle. Jason's got this angle. Why in the freaking world would you not want to get together to confirm what you meant yes it's easier it's to easier. try to get my internet troll friends to right. gang up on you on social media well it's, right. e- it's easier for me to point the finger at you and exactly. say 
hey, I don't because, like what you say. Because saying, do you how, so I'm gonna do how, it this how way. are you grown up? How are you raised? You were never told no. Mm -hmm. right. You were never told no. You were never told apologize. You were never told to admit yep. that you were wrong. And so you now have adults. I would I would argue and say our generation, our our generation uh, now we are you know. Not quite forty-five, but you know Ooh. we're we're getting close Closer. to over the hill. Mm -hmm. And <laughs> damn, <laughs> what's what that say about Ray? <laughs> Ray's got a five-year plan. <laughs> and I think well, I, I gotta think make myself feel <laughs> <a> better, Ray. <laughs> <laughs> They're picking on me. <laughs> but I think that I think that's just what it boils down to. Well, so it's a one. Two. Yeah, that you don't, that, stop that it. game that game don't play. My if well, I give it to my daughter, I tell her one time, second time, somebody ass getting busted. Well, it's happening. It's changed so. But it's that changed. that it, is it, not the norm. But when you when you but, when you have a when you have a disagreement about something, the thing you got to have is perspective, and nobody understands that. You don't have empathy for somebody else's situation. We don't have those characteristics well, have being it. taught to anybody. No, we don't have empathy about anyone. And it starts. Anyone at anything home right and if i have a disagreement if i have a if i'm going to talk politics with anybody i'm going to look at their side of things if they're on the other side of the aisle for me mm -hmm. because otherwise i'm not educated on what they're even saying or believing right. so how can i have any kind of reasoning about how i feel if i don't know what the hell they're even thinking about i'm as one-sided as can be i'm ignorant and stupid because I don't see their That's side right. of it. I want to take the facts and the that. facts. Uninformed. And, okay, Uninformed. I'll take that. But yeah. I still think you're, it's stupid if you don't look at their other side. Right. And I'm going to look, yeah, because ignorant means you don't have it. But, I, I mean, that's what I want to do. And then that, I can take the information from both and go, this is where I'm going to draw my opinion. Mm -hmm. And that moves my needle one way or the other. It stays where it is. It's, and that's fine. It's so crazy because you said you, you grabbed your phone mm -hmm. and held it up. Think about not only this in politics and just the, the generation, like I have to, and you guys do this as coaches, you have to teach these kids to talk now on the court. <laughs> oh, my gosh. Talk in the court. How about the in classroom? General. Or How anywhere. about in the hallways? How about anywhere? And that's what I'm saying. It, yes. It's so different. Like uh, me and Coach uh, Gilman were talking today. I went in his office to talk about some basketball today after school. And, uh, you know, he's like, you gotta get, you got to get your kids talking. And I'm like, yeah. They don't know how to talk anymore because of this. Mm -hmm. No. I will have a kid sit in my class right well, over yeah, there yep, and yep. email me. Yep. They're sitting right there. Yep. And they email me a question. Yep. I'm like, are you kidding? Mm -hmm. It's uh, easier to hide behind this yes, right than there. it is for someone it's else safer. to tell me. Yes. It's safer. Yes. It's safer. It's safer. Like, it's like that uh, if you, you've seen because the internet always wins. <laughs> and, it, and it shows like that person with the fist and he's knocking another kid out, you know. And. <laughs> That isn't happening anymore. No. Nope. And kids are doing mm -hmm. whatever they want behind this, and no one's coming to their house and beating mm -hmm. the crap out of them. Well, mm -hmm. I think here's, here's the biggest thing that I – and I said this, and I've said this all along. When they took punishment out of schools, it affected every kid because now every kid doesn't get that discipline of when I am in wrong, how do I pay for it? There is no failure mm -hmm. in these kids, and that's one of the biggest things that – I see from a standpoint of as a coaching is we don't let our kids fail and then teach them mm -hmm. what it, about failure and how to handle it. Well, how to handle it. Yes. It, yeah. I mean, it's, it's, it's either all or nothing. It's either I'm, my side's right, my, thing, my viewpoint's right, or you're dumb and I hate you and you're a terrible human being. Yes. Right. Look, I, I know a lot of people who, who feel very different from me politically or you know my faith or beliefs mm -hmm. and i can listen to them and, and be perfectly fine mm -hmm. with how they feel i'm going to disagree with them right. if i don't believe it or and, believe what they and, and that's okay it's okay to agree to disagree and i think that's the biggest problem that we have here mm -hmm. is i i mean i i 100 don't believe there'll be ever any more bipartisan unity mm -hmm. both sides of the aisle working together because we don't teach this stuff at home nope. how the hell are you supposed mm -hmm. to have that happen mm -hmm. I, you're not going to get anybody qualified to run for congress that's going to make make this work mm -hmm. and that's where it needs to happen mm -hmm. well that there's 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 it goes back to that failure thing sure. those people have never been able to fail at it and be wrong okay with that be, right you yeah, know not, not win. The, the the concept of it is is 
we are always right, and there's no one else going to tell me otherwise. Mm -hmm. And that's my opinion, and I think that's what happens in our society is all these kids have grown up to that point. We didn't grow up in that way. Mm. I mean, when we did something wrong, we freaking knew about it. Mm. And I knew real about quick. It. Well, I hate – I wasn't worried about school. Like, I wasn't worried about going to the principal. I was worried about when dad go home. Yeah. got home from work and found <laughs> out it. or right. the guy called – my dad, during the day, the teacher called my house and woke my dad up, and he was on midnights oh, no. or, you know, something like that. I was worried about my dad. So, you know, so I could care less about the principal. Well, and I think that goes back, and I can't remember who said it, but I think it, it goes back to the family, mm-hmm. yeah. and it goes back wow. to the core. Well, and that that's, How many of them don't even have a dad? Yeah. I mean, that, or a dad, mom. Dad yeah. is where I think. Dad's the head. Dad, yeah. Dad's the head. Yeah. Well, you know? But, but here's, here's my thing. Well, people don't believe that anymore either. Right. And well, I, society <laughs> society's trying to cancel that out too. I'm not going to always put every situation out. In, and as a coach, we don't, do, we don't set our kids up to have success every single day because it's not going to happen. And, and as a coach, I'm, I mean, if my kids, I'm putting them in the best position to have success, but when they fail – that's the first thing I think that they grow from is mm-hmm. failure. Mm-hmm. When they figure out that I can't do this, now what do I do? Yeah. Mm-hmm. And they don't yeah. know how to do it. They don't yeah. know how to respond. Problem, they don't know how to react. Sol- problem solving, and yeah. critical thinking. I think the yeah. biggest problem with that is, is we've always given this, and they can find out how to do it through this, and they don't know – just do it and see what happens. They, and let's figure it out. Here's yeah. an encyclopedia. What the hell is that? Mm-hmm. Right. <laughs> a table encyclopedia. Of con- table right. of contents. What? what yeah. I don't. That? I can't find this. Yeah. Read the freaking book. <laughs> right, right. <laughs> Lot, lots of comments about this. This sure. is good. Uh, Michelle Gebhardt, love her. She's always watching us here. Uh, you're not communicating face to face, so it's easier to bully when there's a computer screen between you versus nothing. Sure. And it's also harder to interpret. The written versus the spoken word. I think there's a lot to be said about reading people's faces whenever right. they're talking. Right. Because mm-hmm. you can take a text message oh. the wrong oh, right. way. Oh, <laughs> I, we have no idea what you're talking about. Nobody here understands that, I guess. I'd much rather talk to people face to face. What the bleep are you, <laughs> you trying to say, Ray? Oh. <laughs> right. okay. a- again, here's another one. I like to talk. Face to face, <laughs> right? And listen, I if I think things are yeah. going to be, I'm yeah. going to jump out there and say what I got to say, right? Right. I get someone's attention, and I, <laughs> no, I go on to that next next comment Crump? by by Dave Crump. I yeah. think it's that's why we are molder of men and women. Holes. You know, he says that students in sports should do an interview before they make a team, and we shouldn't have a parent teacher conferences, but also student teacher conferences, and which I think. A lot of schools are, are starting to, to go to yeah, R seven. We have the comment R seven, yeah, and we do a student led one as well, don't we? At, uh, at, at the lower levels, I don't think it's high to, school. We used to have as it. much. We haven't done it. But uh, I I think that the the biggest concept that we have is um, you know we're not a, we're not giving our kids a chance to speak for themselves and and giving ourselves um, an opportunity to another topic. to have a big time <laughs> discussion about why. The right. why, the right. why, yeah. Well, the and why, the easy answer is path, path of least resistance. resistance. Absolutely. Oh, I mean, yes. Sure. I have no idea what that is. Well, yeah. and, and a lot of people That don't. water out there knows exactly where it is. <laughs> yeah, buddy. Yeah, yeah buddy. Golly. But, um, and, and, and I, I mean, we'll go with these comments real fast, and then I think we'll yeah, close sure. it off. You're going to have to. Yeah, we've got to give away some prizes. Uh, <laughs> you know, Jane Biddick says kids nowadays think they are entitled to have all things they want. Mm-hmm. And that, yeah. that, that is a Instead very they need. important thing. Uh, you know, in, in entitlement. Like they don't know the difference about, between a what and a need. No, my goodness. No. Gosh, no. No. <laughs> no. And Michelle says also we didn't get participation trophies either when yep. we were growing up. Sure. That's Oh, right. gosh. Yeah, Michelle, just, me and Michelle graduated together, and she hits that perfectly. On, I mean, dude, I don't. Who wants a second-place trophy? I don't even want a second-place trophy. I want That's to throw the anything I out of <laughs> I mean, I mean well, listen. I'll take it, but I mean, I. Those trophies cost money. Yes. <laughs> well, I'll take I'll yes, take a do. second place trophy if it's like <laughs> a Missouri shape, the trophy, Missouri yeah. state, yeah, shape. Yeah. But I'll I mean, it. it's hard. It, I can get you one, man. I can remember <laughs> my kid one time at YMCA and said, "Why do we get Why do we get a medal, Dad? We only won one game mm-hmm. all season." I'm mm-hmm. like, Ugh. 
Good question. Yes. Mm-hmm. I don't even like giving out certificates to everybody who played. For the and, team. and I think this is a good topic that we could discuss every yeah, week and you know, oh go gosh. down a different avenue with it. Yeah, because maybe we do that. there's so many opportunities and so many things we could talk about off of just this one topic mm-hmm. yeah. Mm-hmm. Uh, yeah. that that could go see. on for a long time. You know. Sure. Crump uh, says uh, second place is the first loser. <laughs> you ain't first, you're last. <laughs> yeah, first but I think that when we, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but when we're, t- yeah, I think everything funnels back. Everything's always going to funnel back to the family. It just, it is. Whoa, whoa, wait, wait. We got to give away. Well, we can do that while the music's okay. going. Okay, ready to start playing the music. Yeah. Let's do it. Hey, we've got a couple more people yeah. signed up. Yeah. Make sure. I, qu- I question one of them that's on there. I think that's, Uh-oh. you know, if that, that might it's be a good. bot. It's all but good. A bot. All right. I'm going yeah, yeah, to yeah. spend. I don't know if I is can Is that even possible? <laughs> better oh, not be. Hey, I'm sure it is. All right. I'm going to spin the wheel. On the, lo- here, on the screen Let me get it on here. the screen okay. here. Hold on. Spin the wheel. Spinning. Here we go. We're spinning. And the winner. The winner is Tony, Tony Teague. Teague. There we go. Fellow Pepsi man. Oh, man. You got, hey. you got Pepsi watching? Hey. You got Pepsi. Hey. You got Pepsi watching and we ain't got it. Pepsi right sponsorship yet? Right here, man. Hey, no hey, yeah, no doubt. Free advertising. Yeah, Where's our Pepsi on. shirt? Gosh. Where's, our, where's our, you know. Coach's Box sponsored by Tony but, Teague and yeah. Pepsi. Let's yeah. do that. <laughs> <laughs> now nah, we'll get it out there to you, Tony, and we'll get that in the mail. Go ahead, and um, I'll uh, be sending you an email. Uh, just give me your address, and we'll, I'll mail it off to you. And you can enjoy $15 off Lop Changas. Congratulations. Yeah. Well, anyway, we'll get him down here. He lives in Illinois, so we'll get oh, him man. over here to – you talk about the on, Socialist no, no, Republic no, no. of Illinois. We're going straight to politics now. <laughs> I'm trying to. Hey, oh, maybe I like geez. keeping politics in sports. <laughs> oh wow! Let me let me help you with that. Keep politics out of sports, please. It's why we. It's Stalin why we today. get. It's 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 our escape, folks. That it's our escape. It is. It's entertainment. Let's, that. Are you not entertained? Are you not entertained? What? Speaking of, what? Speaking of, are we? They're supposed to come out with the Gladiator too. How's that what? possible? Hey, that's what was my first what? thought. That's what I thought. Hey, it's uh, gonna be like a Russell Crowe. No, it, yes, no. and Chris Hemsworth is going to play a son. Spoiler alert! Spoiler! I thought they both died in the first. Yeah, because he got killed. That's yeah. one of the reasons why he's so I know. pissed off. I he know. Went, you know. Yeah. Anyway. Gosh. gosh, you can't. It doesn't Hollywood matter. I know. Nothing Why? can even measure up I to know. the first gladiator. Don't do it. I know. Although I, I hate that ending. I hate yeah, the ending. But yeah, oh, yeah, yeah, but yeah, yeah. Not, the, you, don't, you guys don't always win. Uh, well, you do that. Not when you're a gladiator and you fight <laughs> to the death. <laughs> fight to the death. So, anyway. All right. It's been a good show, I yeah. think. Yeah. You know, I, would, I know everybody's probably asleep by now. Well, the rain probably put him to sleep. Yep. Hey, watch hey, it on there. Hey, the windows, even though it's raining, could be uh, open tonight. The windows night. could be open. Uh, pretty busy. Uh, open the windows. I doubt it. Open the <laughs> window. <laughs> anyway. There you go. Slam shut. <laughs> Actually, okay, if the window's closed, uh, then there's going to be a lot of this going uh, on. Crickets, crickets. There will be some crickets hey, but, after uh, that rain. Mm. One more. Let's make sure we mention about our sponsorship. Yes. Yep. You know, uh, click on that quick. QR one code there time. and uh, sign up to be a sponsor of the show. Uh, sponsor of one segment or the whole show itself. Uh, we'd love to have sponsorships, and we'd love to get back to the community and, and uh, do our part as far as what you guys have done for us uh, over the last 55 weeks. So we appreciate all of that. And, uh, Ray, over to you, my friend. Yeah. There you have it. There you are. Thanks so much for watching the Coach's Jesus. Box. We'll be back again another week next week with episode 56. Ray Halbrook and all of us here live stream STL. Thanks for watching the Coach's Box. We'll see you next week.